Lamar trying to cut our water off, man. Ever since, ever since you messed with Monique, why you have to mess with Monique, man? My fault, man. You acting like I'm the only one that hit her. Everybody done hit Mo. You might have hit her too. I remember I hit her, the 50 boys, all of us. 12th Street. BMF was in there for sure. Of course. The KKK. Y2K. WWF2. WCW. Nitro. WWE. NWO. PS4, N5. PSP. CNBC. NBA. TNT. Can't stop the ring. UFC. JBN. Scott Steiner. <laughs> You can't stop the rain. I walked in, they was hitting it with the Rick Steiner. The what? When it starts to fall, when it starts to fall, there's nothing else to play. Welcome back to What You Thought, the show about everything and nothing at the same time. I'm Darnell. The Express is moving. Hey. Right. Oh shit, that nigga's linked up. Y'all teamed up. <laughs> Baif is back on the boards. <laughs> Wet and squeeze. You already know. <laughs> That's we got Amar, a.k.a. John Jacob Jingle Hammer Schmidt in the building. What's going on? What's going on? My boy went Galaxy Foams today. I see. <laughs> nah. nah, nah, that's a blend. That's a blend. That's atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, that's atmosphere. <laughs> What's the color scheme? That's like three different joints. Ombre. This is an ombre, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to lighten and darken in different spots. That's what happened with the color, Light man. and darken. That's, that's what happened, dark. man. <laughs> Nigga went ombre. But I like that, on. the Galaxy. I like that. What's wow. the shirt today? Um, hella black, hella blessed, hella black, hella blessed, hella proud. All right. Yeah. Love. So. Heard you. We got Derek, aka Hands, in the building. My boy. Alpha Memphis is on the way. <laughs> Ev is in LA working on gang relations. He had to make it right after last week. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm negotiating the truth. There's something else going on behind that. There's more to the story. There's more to that story. Yo. There he is. It's more. It don't make sense. Why you flew back? You flew you right back out? <laughs> nah, for something to fly you right back out. It's crazy. More romance on that than, than, niggas, than niggas wanted to let on to. For real. You heard? It had to be. <laughs> what it is, man. Nigga ain't flying Ev big ass out of there again. After he, first of all, when he cracked on Ev, he told him, now nah, you got the fatty or whatever. Or whatever he said. What he, what he said? <laughs> Hold on, He's handsome. Said, we called him handsome. Handsome, my fault, my fault. <laughs> so how he got the <laughs> Hold on, how did he pre-bag, Ev, which was wild? Why you didn't leave immediately? There's more to that. There's more to the story. He had to finish his drink There's or more. something. Yeah, something is missing. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, come on. A nigga told him <laughs> you got fake. And he didn't even directly <laughs> miss, he, didn't, he had he it to the chick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he told his man, he told Shorty, like, yo, your man's over there? You know what I mean? <laughs> Word. Working with something. <laughs> but, <laughs> what are you doing out here with all that on a Tuesday yeah. afternoon? That's what he said. That's what he said to the devil, nigga. <laughs> Yo, what your man's doing out here with all that? You know what I mean? Oh, my God. That's <laughs> With all these thugs and criminals, Yo. he needs some protection. <laughs> when Ev check in, it's a total different type of check-in. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He got booked. He got booked out there. It's a booking. Yeah, that's crazy. That's nasty. My fault, man. <laughs> Salute to Ev, man. I'll just be playing this shit, but you gotta stop doing all that. <laughs> we got Baive, aka Squeeze, in the building. Yeah. Mixing and master. That's a fact. One man band. You gonna put your hands together for Baive? One band. I got. I gotta get my own sound effect. Yeah, yeah, word. yeah facts. Nah, but salute to Baive. Mm -hmm. Last week he had those sweats on. Pop had to let him know he was out of pocket. Yo. This week he came correct. Word. Yeah. With the slacks. With the slacks. <laughs> and, and, the, and the Louis belt? That's a Louis belt? Nah, why you, why you on my man's face line? It's a fan belt. I can't see shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. You know he got that third eye now. From the baseline with the baseline. That's wild, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> baseline is wicked, my nigga. Damn. Come on. <laughs> Roasted. Uh -huh. He said that's gross. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ghost is with you. Nah. nah, but you was out of pocket, my nigga. You like a scarecrow or some shit with the music. <laughs> Brother, I, I really don't be caring, yo. You know, the, like, you know when they, when like, they put, I mean, I hear all that, but you know they take the hay and they put it in the old space <laughs> and they don't break it. <laughs> those yeah. would be perfect That's for that. That's the shit that keep Jeepers and Creepers away. Yo, those That's would be exactly perfect with the head. Well, it would be perfect. The yeah. They're supposed to be making another Jeepers and Creepers movie. <laughs> nah, they shouldn't. Man. Starring my sweatpants. <laughs> yeah. It's just made out yeah. of one side of a pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The cool side, though. Yeah, they just At least off. the cool side. <laughs> I'll tell you that. They was cool as shit, but they still pissed me off. <laughs> Bring them shit back over here so we can jump. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And we got Red straight out of rainwater, New Jersey, cutting a whole lot of water off. <laughs> no, shit. Listen, man, why, why am I always the bad guy? Because you are. It's only funny if you but, Lamar, nigga. We but Lamar is a horrible person. Lamar's the illest nigga on the show. I wish no, I was he's Lamar's not. Son. The nigga's a lunatic. First of all, Lamar had the baddest bitch on the show. Just keep it 100. But everybody had that bitch. No, the bitch is Nah, he's talking about the bathroom floor. Oh, the bathroom floor? The bathroom nah, that was yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that was... That was... Yeah, that was she was disgusting. waiting for him to get out. Bro, <laughs> they scheduled another date in the bathroom. Exactly. She has no standards. That's my dog, though. Lamar. She lay down on the bathroom floor. Yeah. And was getting thrashed. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere, anywhere else. <laughs> anywhere, literally anywhere else. She had good knees, man. Good floor right She was disgusting. Tile, ain't no slipping. <laughs> you don't have to, you know what I mean? You get full, full mm. rotation on every, mm. you know what I mean? Then the dismount is OD. You good. <laughs> the dismount. That's, That's crazy. It's a great place to start, my nigga. You heard? Oh, man. And we got IG's yeah. most wanted, Pop Vasquez. <laughs> So, I frequented many bathroom floors in my yeah, day, you know what I'm saying? With that's nasty. Waitresses. That's so, nasty. What? Bro, the, and the thing is, like, spoiler alert for niggas who haven't watched, like, BMF lately. Oh, Lamar's boy, what's that nigga's name again? The light skin guy? Yeah. I don't remember his name. I'll look Bro, it up. Okay. Any, any time you're dealing with somebody who does fuck shit, the idea that they won't do it to you, nigga, it's just not your turn yet. Slick, slick is yeah. good name. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, just in case. Do it to you. And yeah. Your yeah. Wow. <laughs> the nigga is singing, You Can't Stop the Rain. You're packing your bags with your door wide open. Why did you even need to pack? Niggas just dip. <laughs> just leave. You got the gun in your waist. Yeah, why you don't pack Why'd you even put it in your waist? Yeah. You're supposed to hold that. The decoration, man. But like, you wasn't posted. You didn't want yeah. to shoot him, obviously. Yeah. So right. Clearly, he didn't really, he wasn't really ready for action. I don't think he thought Lamar was going to go that far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Lamar. He always go that I far. Say, I knew he was going that far. Yeah. I mean, it's a movie. You, I mean, it's of course. A movie, so they got to, and that shit probably never even happened. You see a nigga that played Lamar? Yeah. yeah. The, the real action yeah. nigga that is Lamar? You but know what I'm saying? the character's mad unstable. Like, he's an unstable person. Yeah. Yo, once he told her, yeah, she cut my water off, yeah. he should have known. Yeah. yeah. He he's about, got out he's about to get ugly. Where did he get the arcade game at? I don't know. In the crib, that's a ill, that's a ill little. That was yeah. fly. Yeah. All right, let me get. I, I this shit is hot as fuck. I'm sorry, I can't with the smock and all that other shit. <laughs> hey, you taking the do rag off? It's a lot. Yeah, that I know. Yeah, that I know. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, what's that? Wind can't make it through this. Like, there's just, it's, it's too much. You want to show off this natural? No, it's not. It's not. We can talk about that in a second. It's not. It's definitely not. It's the last one they had. It's not. It's definitely not. Hanging to the back of your kneecap. I, 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 I look absolutely uncomfortable. You know that's hot with that on you. I'm, I'm definitely less hot. Now we know how you live in real life. Uh, that's wicked. Um, it, it's made out of trash bag materials. How would you like me to treat it? I don't want you to treat it. Okay. You bet. Do, All right. Do what you want to do, my All right. You're living foul. All right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 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 Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Astro World, my nigga, like I definitely kind of felt the way you didn't check in, make sure niggas was all right. I honestly just Darnell found called out. me at like fucking like three a.m. Make sure niggas was straight. I appreciate you, Darnell. Yeah. I actually just found out something happened. I had no idea. Oh shit! Could you oh, tell right. us what happened? Actually, yeah. damn, I know that's you were crazy. Out there. Hmm? Go ahead. No, I said I have to make sure niggas. You completely pop. ruined the gesture. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure niggas was gonna pull up to work. <laughs> Yo, y'all good? Who's checking it's in for you? If you, you can't make it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, nah, could you actually tell us what happened and let everybody know you were at, you half the team was out in Astro World. Yeah, at we're at Astro World shooting, and um, it was first of all when you walk up to Astro, shout out to um, I think that's Live Nation and Travis Scott's team. It's a crazy festival. Like it's very well put together, super yeah. thought out. 
like the the stages and everything else. Niggas ain't hit nothing I said. You never clipped it? Yeah, it was on. Nigga, I just didn't. I didn't know it fell off. Oh. Niggas ain't hit nothing I said. The whole podcast. Bro, it was. <laughs> you, you, your vocals was loud as fuck. Yeah. All good, my nigga. Yeah, you good. I'm good. I ain't say shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the festival was very well put together. I, I think uh, Travis Scott's fans are just a different breed of fan because. Um, Early on that that first day of the festival, when I was walking through the you know the VIP center spot where they they walk through people through the photo pit, like 200 people jumped the barricade. So to create context, I was surrounded by maybe like a thousand people, and it was almost impossible to move to get to move forward or backwards or whatever. So I could only imagine when there's like 50,000 people in a crowd what that would feel like in terms of trying to get out or whatever it was. Um, we were watching the crowd from the distance right before Drake came up, but it was, it was just so many people. You couldn't, it was dark. It was so many people. You can't tell what's going on in there. It was just a sea of people. And I could imagine that if someone fell, imagine it being dark, everyone's excited, everyone's jumping. The mosh pits were crazy. You could trample someone and not really realize what you're doing until it's too late. And you couldn't do anything about saving that person because there's so many. What's good, Alpha? There's so many people around you, you couldn't, there's no room for you to even try to bend over and help someone up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. That's a tragedy. No, I'm just saying bending over. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of like, how do they avoid that in the future? You know, because I mean, it's not going to be the end of festivals. I don't think Travis no. Scott's going to stop performing, you know, Thanks. even if it's not Travis Scott, like what's the next situation? Because there was a Michael Jackson concert, I believe. Double check me on this. Where I think 23 people died yeah. at a Michael Jackson concert, you know, and it's kind of just one of those things where it's like, how is it prevented from now on? Part of it is, I mean, I like, you know, praise out to the, the people who passed and people who got hurt and everything. Part of it is like the, the fan base, like these guys just want to put on like the best show as possible, right? But when ambulances pull up and you have people from the crowd jumping on top of the ambulances, dancing and moshing and keeping the ambulance from taking the hurt people away, it's, it's the fan base, which is part of it, it's like people. There's nothing you can do to like control human behavior. These guys are wilding. Drugs might have been involved. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, I think also the accountability on the artist standpoint mm. is that you have to somehow, I know that's his brand yeah. of like mosh pit and party and rage and all that stuff like that. But at a certain point, you got to have the control to like. So stop the show and really tell everybody to calm down? At the, it, it's stopping like, all right, we're going to stop the show until everybody here chills out. Yeah, and like on ambulance. some that's too much. It's a lot, but I mean you can't stop the whole show in the whole production cuz people are wilding out. That's just part of the, you the atmosphere. Moshing, you just can't yeah. control yourself, right? I wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't in the mosh pit. Oh. Donnell in 99 in a concert in Bucharest. They say about 5,000 people fainted. I During am. a Michael Jackson concert, 23 people did die. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but that's different. That's because my son back when he back out, pause out, out the stage. They, they motherfuckers just yeah. pull out. Yeah, and it had yeah. nothing to do with no mosh pit. Yeah. You the only nigga I ever seen yeah. in that mosh pit. I wasn't. I don't in even know how to mosh pit. So the other thing you is, it, what, once you, moshing? that's what they do. Ah, yeah. So, <laughs> like when you're in the festival and you get a spot, like if you're up front mm -hmm. by the stage, there's like imagine just twenty thousand people behind you. Mosh so talk. there's. There's almost no way to get to get out of that crowd, right? People get dehydrated. They're drinking beers. They're standing there for hours waiting for their famous for or whatever artist, artist they, yeah. they to come out and perform. You, people pass out. People get like there's literally uh, what's that called again? Like uh, ambulance people or uh, first aid people just standing around waiting for people to pass out. Because it happens so often. Was it really hot out there? Or? Nah, it, it, wasn't it wasn't that really hot, hot. But it was, imagine it was again, was you're surrounded by. We be in this room. It's only eight of us. 
this room, but like it'd be hot than a motherfucker. Imagine twenty thousand motherfuckers huddled and like it's crazy. Okay. Yeah. People were throwing up. It was it was crazy. People were it was a lot going on. Yeah, I've only done one music festival in my life, and I wouldn't do it again. I mean, I guess OVO Fest counts, but there's seats there, and it's yeah. like spread. It's not like how you yeah. run it from stage to stage and everything. Yeah. I did Maine America one year, and I was, uh. and I knew it wasn't like for me mm. because I'm not a mosher or a rager. Like yeah. I'm not trying to run to stay and yeah. pile with people like that. It wasn't it, fun. If you um, look at like Afropunk, the vibes are completely different. It's the fan base. Yeah. What's Afropunk? Afropunk is like a, a I guess an Afrocentric music festival. Mm. That's just like your style of music. <laughs> nah, it's. I've been there, but I, it's I. I feel like people ask the question. I think it might go. They they have mixed you, events. I just <laughs> nigga, asking the question. I never heard of it. You've never heard of Afropunk? Nah, my nigga. Oh. Okay, I think nah. what an Afro is. I just was asking you what what type of is that? What your genre of music? Nah, Afropunk is actually Afropunk is it's, pretty it's mixed. Hip-hop. It's just black music right now. It's mm-hmm. hip hop and R and B as well as um on the fringe acts. That's what it initially was. Yeah. Was acts somewhat on the fringe or rock bands that were black, yeah. grunge music that was black. Um, even against, drill music. So I ain't against no Afro shit whatsoever. I'm just saying punk. I thought that was you know what I mean. I, I ain't know what they. Yeah, that's about. just the, that's yeah. just the name. It's evolved. They they yeah. have all kinds of acts. Last time yeah. I went to Afro punk, Pusha T was one of the headliners. Were. So. Yeah. Um, is this is Alpha Alpha's mic on? Yeah. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Nah. You've been to. Hold on. We gonna get his his mic situation. Let him get situated. Um, yeah, but I think it's a, they have to rethink it as far as like the amount of people or, you know what I mean? Mm. That they let into the festival or maybe the way it, it's situated where like, the, maybe there are like designated seats or sections somehow that, you know what I mean? Because that's what saves concert, but I, you. it takes away from yeah, it being a festival. I get that, but is there's no way to control it. Like if it was like a concert, if you look at Summer Jam where everybody's in the stands, like that's different. You know what I mean? A festival that's so much more difficult. Like when we went to NRG, like it was the field was grass. It was a grass field. By the end of the day, it was just mud. Just so many people walking around yeah. trampling, people flying in from all over. There's nothing you could do to control people doing. All right, even when you're looking at the moshing and everything else, when they reported somebody stabbed mm. a security guard with a, a needle that had drugs in it. Oh, yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's yeah. nothing you could control the Thorazine. Mm. There's nothing you could do to control See? human behavior. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I told I was trying to tell y'all niggas. 53 episodes ago. Yeah. I tried to explain it to you niggas, man. Nah, uh, but I feel like people, get that? like people get injured and pass out at Whatever any festival, though, like... Anytime. Because like, you've done music. I went to I went to Dreamville Fest. That's the only festival I ever went to, Dreamville Festival. How many stages were there? Two stages. And it was mad people in that little ass park. People were passing the fuck out. You there all day. 12 hours, 16 hours standing. Yeah. Shit's terrible. It's a fucking yeah, that don't sound marathon. Fun. It's yeah. not fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not. It's, well, and yeah, then, I've had to photograph a few festivals, and it is on your feet all day. What? All day. Yeah. At least at Summer Smash, when we were there... Oh. They had, they had security guards. <laughs> Them niggas definitely yeah. had the authority. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear it. You, it it's an entitled. But when, <laughs> when we were title. there, security was throwing bottled water into the audience mm. to at least try to get water to That's people. Love. Mm. You know what I mean? That didn't start that, a riot? No, people I can see were people begging over for the water. water. Mm. You throw the water in there. I need water. water. You need water. He's sharing the water. Uh, yeah. It's a different kind of, it's a different yeah. blending nigga yeah. in there. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different, that's were, a blendini. They were throwing, you know what I mean? they were throwing lots blend. of water and they were also mm-hmm. helping people over the barricades that were mm-hmm. passing out and they were like escorting them out and it looked like they had a section. Mm. I think logistically you could do some things to curtail that type of thing in the future, but there's nothing you could do to fix human behavior. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about that. All right. Well, now that we can not talk about death, I can put my glasses back on. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> but what they can do, and what I do think this is going to lead up to, is metaverse. Oh, shit. Because I do think they're going to start doing, like, the virtual metaverse kind of concerts. Mm-hmm. People can get trampled there. I mean, it's not as <laughs> dope, though. It's not to us yet. But the kids that just grow up that way, they're going to think it's fly. Because when he did the Fortnite concert, kids were mad hyped for that. Yeah, but, like, I think 
kids now are like way more socially awkward than that's we were. They are. But that's why it might work. That's exactly why that's it could true. work. They don't want interaction with yeah. real actual humans. Yeah. yeah. Um, back in the day, niggas actually had to go outside. Yeah, that, like, the metaverse idea is actually very timely. People trying to live in a virtual world. Um, I can see that taking off. Yeah. So uh, that's what's interesting, your, though. What's your meta human gonna be like, Pop? I ain't gonna have none of that. <laughs> I know you on your way. <laughs> after, Metamorphosis, nigga. After, you after, in the middle of your transition. After IG, that's it. You're yeah, done. that's it for me. I'm he, good. I had enough. He turned oh. his Wi-Fi off. Yeah, I had enough. He didn't have Wi-Fi no more in the crib. No you more internet. Stop the rain. <laughs> You can't stop no matter what, nigga. I mean, I do think it has the metaverse uh, in theory has some uses that may be interesting to me. Um, watching sporting events, for instance, mm. I was reading up on how in the metaverse, if, if you're watching sporting events with, you know, the Oculus or the 3D glasses, then the camera angles is going to be almost like you're right there with them. They may install um, cameras on the boxes and on the M yeah. MMA fighters. And so now if you're in the metaverse, you're literally looking almost through a first person view. Um, so this is going to be interesting. That doesn't even sound like it makes sense. Yeah. No? Nah? Putting cameras on the MMA fighters? Yeah. I'll tell you what, that's not new though. Ten years ago, they were talking about doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, it, I was, this, none of this is new. You're right. Logistically, it doesn't make sense. Ain't nothing new under the sun, my nigga. Why Facts. not? Ain't nothing new. I understand, but again, logistically, you have two people fighting. So if it's like, if it's boxing, maybe it works a little bit better. But if it's MMA, there's no way you're putting cameras on somebody and it it works. Yeah, I was like, if they will, out, if we'll watch. Wow. If you can click and to an angle then, that's first like person, it, you there, in the there eyes are of the boxer. nuances in a fight. If I'm looking at the fight from the point of view of the other fighter, then it doesn't it doesn't show me like all the other things that right. are going. That's on. why it's an option yeah. Yeah. to watch it. It's not. But good. also, you it's, have to again not understand not these children are playing video games and they're growing up first person anyway on these fighting games and these shooting games. And so now, when you give them that option in reality, they're going to jump on it. From a gaming point of view. I'd rather see it like that. Exactly, because they're used to seeing it like that. If you notice, the NBA and NFL has changed how they film their broadcast based on really video games. Yeah. The side-scrolling camera on the NBA that was introduced a year or two ago, yep. that looks just like a video game. Yeah. So. All that's dope, but what I'm saying is there's certain things just because you can do it, why? But why? Like, they're, they're talking about, there was an article that came out where they were like, oh, they're playing around. There's so many whys that we have for you as well. Right? All right. Yeah. Like, All right. I'll like, be yes. just trying to chill, right. my nigga. I'll just right. be trying He's to like, chill. He's like, why? So, I was like, there's so many So they whys. had, like, they, there was some article where there was like, oh, scientists were looking into, like, uh, dinosaur DNA splicing. And I'm like, nigga, there was a whole movie that told you what happens after that. Why are we doing that? Like, but why? You can do it, possibly, but why? For Where are they what? getting the, the dinosaur DNA from? No, just like the same way they fossils. got it from Jurassic Park, Fossil. like fossils, oh. all the other shit. What's the know. end game here? What are y'all trying to do? I don't know, but... I think this virtual world has a lot of interesting practical applications. If so you look at like that, um, that movie Ready Player One, I understand what the idea behind it is, but I don't know. I'm, I'm cool on that. And one way or another, we can't stop it. No. Can't stop the no. rain. Can't you just got you gotta be prepared for that. Even with your rain jacket, nigga. You <laughs> That's not. I, I just seen that shit today. <laughs> Even but with your raincoat, it, it's it's shit gonna permeate happen. through the hoodie and all that. You all fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Word, man. Shit. Um, you guys checked out Drink Champs. Word, Kanye. What y'all think about it? He's the man. man. I asked the question. Internet. Too. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, joking. You heard your man see? Prometheus? <laughs> you really think he the one, son? Who is this nigga? You see, this is why he wants Fresh. Metaverse, though. Shoot that nigga, Red. First of all, this is why he wants Metaverse. Shoot him, son. Nah, I'm not going to do that. This shit's actual. It's going to get him hurt. <laughs> That's Fuck why he my, wants my good eye up. Because he's going to replace me and Pop with like fucking virtual versions. Then he could just edit niggas in full time. Definitely going to preach out. That'll be fine. Yeah. He said that. And I was yeah. like, that could work. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> He'll edit niggas in real time, and then uh, he doesn't need the yo. real people anymore. That'll be fine. Niggas could be at home. Yeah. That's hard. That's yeah. awesome. Crazy. Be like, what? Avatar. Nah, you definitely going to stay fine. home. Yeah. You're going to be home full time. Four pods a week? They're going to love this. That's <laughs> yeah, that's wild. He going to send the virtual you to fire the real you. <laughs> now, whoever, the first pod that can get it off in the metaverse, they're going to be on to something, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's hard. I, I got a non meta like, a, a virtual pod idea, but I'm not going to share it because I don't Obviously. want people to steal it. Because yeah. they steal stuff from us already. Oh, right. sure. That's a fact. That's a fact. Ooh. What they stole, my oh. nigga. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. What they stole, my nigga. Oh. What they stole. 
Nah. I they stay biting off the 50 boys, you feel me? <laughs> That's oh, <a> crazy. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I just sound nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, 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 you said Kanye on Drink Champs. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really dope that he chose Drink Champs to go on because it's Kanye West. He ain't had to do it. Works. Right, he can yeah. do any, he can go on any other platform. You know, he, he could, did Rogan. I don't know if y'all saw that one. Yeah, he did Rogan. I mean, he could did Joe Rogan again. I'm oh. sure Joe Rogan was going to... Pause. He, he's, he led me down the wrong road. Yeah. He said, I don't know why you let him do this. He did Rogan. That's all he do. You're and right. I just followed along. I don't know why you be listening to this nigga. He got you're me. Grown, you're a grown man. <laughs> don't blame shit on me, my nigga. I followed the wrong one. Um, but he could have won on the Joe Rogan podcast again if he wanted to. Fact. Uh, he could have. I'm sure there's not a podcast that's going to turn Kanye West away. But the fact that he chose to do Drink Champs with Nori, uh, I think that's commendable of him. I think that's big. I mean, I think he was only talking a lot of bullshit to an extent. It's Kanye. You know? It's Kanye. Yeah, like, he was, one thing that got me is that he felt the way that people were, like, shunning him because of his political views. Because he was aligning himself with Trump, and like they said, they were forced him to be a Democrat. Pardon me. Uh, but then he said he was mad at Big Sean and John, and John Legend, Legend yeah. for supporting the Democrats. And I'm just like, you kid, that's exactly what you're mad at people doing to you. How are you going to do well, it to them, you know? To give a little context, what he said he felt as though that they were putting a battery, the, the Democratic Party or that agenda was putting a battery in their back. So they were bringing them scripts almost or bringing them talking points and then they would deliver it. So that was his, the, his feeling and it wasn't free thought. The, the tricky thing about that is like I, outside of the Democrats and Republicans and all the political shit, I feel like if I disagree with my one, with one of my guys, my friends or whatever, that's going to be a private thing. I could, like in that same situation, me personally, I can agree with the Democrats without shitting on my friend. I could talk to him in private and be like, bro, I don't fuck with what you're doing, but that's a private thing versus me going out and like campaigning and saying Kanye's crazy or whatever clickbait article and, and signing on to that whole hype train. But Kanye did sound crazy that whole interview well first off i use that word friend loosely i don't think them niggas is ever really friends word i don't okay you know what I mean? they come together and work together you don't have to call them friends i don't know what the situation is but at the end of the day like it or not kanye put them on kanye that's what both he did that don't make you my friend but i understand yeah. but kanye changed both your lives out of respect for that and what the man did for you and y'all was cool at one point because all your niggas was chilling and whatever from the outside looking at, i don't know what was going on personally but the way John Legend said it was they were friends. They would go out to dinner. They they did whatever friends do. <laughs> he separated. He separated from him politically, <laughs> and they stopped being cool. Yeah. But it's like I could disagree with like say Pop or Darnell or whatever. Like any real issues we have, we're gonna discuss that off off camera. I'm not gonna go on some blog somewhere <laughs> and talk shit about niggas and then just pull up to the pod and act like nothing happened. Like that shit's fucking crazy. I, I, don't I don't think disagree. on both sides. I was about to because they did, they did, yeah. go at it. They, sh- they were shooting at Kanye. So. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, I didn't even know that. I never heard of it. Yeah, I didn't know. Like, I saw John Legend stuff, but I don't, I didn't take that he was shooting at. I never Kanye heard of it. At all. It definitely was. Especially in the midst yeah, of the, the presidential campaign when Kanye announced he wanted to run for president. John had some real harsh words for him. Um, he, he had a lot of commentary. But the Democrats. Big Sean actually did supported use him, him as running for president. There's, like, quotes of Big Sean saying, like, it's dope that Kanye can run for president. And, you know, like, yeah. he said he was going to do it and he's doing it. But, hey, I never I heard of none of that shit. Yeah, I mean. I do feel like the Democrats did use John Legend, though. The illest thing that, that he said on, on Drink Champs was um, when some, Steve Rifkin basically said Dame Dash was in, like, Kanye's pocket or whatever. Yeah, he cleared that right like, up. Yo, tell that white man, don't, don't talk about black people's business. Mm. That was the dopest thing with drink champs to me. I don't um, think you sounded crazy whatsoever. I, I don't either. I actually thought it was one of the I best think, interviews I've seen in a long time. I think the niggas on, on some brilliant shit, son. Facts. And then what you got to realize when you're speaking live, when you're just talking, you're yeah. going to ramble a little bit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? For When you were arguing with the nigga back and forth about how he's a genius, for you to call him crazy, it just doesn't make sense. I would think you would be... No, the- no, no, no. I still think he's a genius. But I do think there are certain aspects to what Kanye is saying where it's just like... Jesus is crazy. Y- yeah, like, 
there's a little bit of like egomaniac in that where I'm just like, bro, none of that makes any sense. But cool. It's it's all right. It's it's Kanye. But there's a reason I feel like certain people would choose Drink Champs over a other a other podcast. If you go on Rogan, he's going to challenge the shit you say. If you go on Drink Champs, nobody's going to laugh. Nobody's going to say shit. You can say the most wild shit. Niggas going to disagree with you. They're going to ring a cowbell. <laughs> and do all other shit. The nigga said he should have a tombstone or some dumb shit for signing Big Sean. And niggas was like, oh, what? Oh, and they just laughed and did whatever horn shit. And they moved on like nothing happened. Someone should have been like, you got to explain that. He, he did kind of explain it. It was, it was Big Sean's um, political beliefs and his alliances that kind of frustrated Kanye. He explained it after. Nori was confused at first. Yeah. Because Nori thought, like, he was saying it in a good way. Like, he wants that as, like, a yeah. highlight of his life. Yeah. Uh, and then DJ FN, or whatever the guy's name, yeah. just kind of jumped in and was like, like <laughs> that's no, that's, that's his name, right? Nah, yeah. you said, oh, whatever that guy's name is, like, you didn't say it perfectly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, because I, honestly, like, I nah, thought I was messing it up. I violate. didn't try to violate. We heard you. I, <laughs> I was here. It's recording. Yeah, um, I, I was here. No, nah, I thought he had some, some interest in... Let me keep my vet on. <laughs> Vet, vet beverage. We um, heard you, my nigga. <laughs> and I thought he had a lot of interesting things to say, to be honest. Um, Kanye is just an interesting person. Pop, I know you said you didn't get through the entire interview, but let me run this one thing by you, because I did write a few things down when I was watching it. So one thing he offered up was, um, I don't know if y'all caught it, he said he doesn't like Black History Month. Yeah. Right? I he said that. instead, let's call it Black Future Month or Black Possibility Month, because he feels like we're paying too much attention to the harsh histories that black people have gone through and not speaking of where we're headed. We got both. And that's what I was thinking. But, but Pop, what do you think about something like that? Celebrating the future endeavors. A great take on it. You know what I mean? It's a great take on it. Somebody might not believe in it. Someone might not agree. I think it's a great take. You feel me? I thought so, too. I thought so, too. I think you could do both. Like, I you think know? you can do both. Yeah. He gave his flowers to Dame. He gave his flowers to Beans, too. He said he actually owes Beans some money. He mm-hmm. said Beans gave him the That's name dope. Yeezy. I, I fucked with and that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did y'all people know he did there, though? Well, nah, what did he do? Well, he was like, nah, nah, Beans definitely gonna get that money. <laughs> yeah, 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 he did say that. <laughs> that was kind of out of pocket. I mean, he, he also, he was shooting at um, the publicist. He, he made some real good points even about his wife. He said he didn't like the nanny. He didn't like the publicist creating false headlines. Did y'all notice he pointed out Hulu? Hired Love was fire. I thought that was dope. Yeah. I yeah. like that. That was, that was very my, interesting. My son is a little yeah. introspective, man. Yeah. Well, what about the Hired Love? I didn't hear that part of it. Talking about the nanny. The what? The nanny. He was talking about the nanny who lives in the house with Kim and the kids. I, what I, about I, it? I can't find I even missed that part. I, I missed that part. Love. It was good. Um, what did y'all think about him living like as a nomad or saying he's homeless? Fuck with it. I mean, if you're rich enough to do it, it, it sounds yeah. good. Elon Musk does the same shit, but like, you gotta be rich, my nigga. It's, you gotta be real rich. You have to. Him saying he doesn't want to use currency, just we should be able to use our faces as currency or or the barter system. I like I like mean. the whole my house stuff. My house. Funny as shit. Yeah. I fuck with it, but you gotta be rich to do that. Yeah. To move in that, those type of manners, you yeah. have to be rich. Man. I think to a degree, he's lost touch with like just everyday shit it's very easy to be like well why doesn't everybody have a lamborghini like nigga it's not it doesn't make any sense what do you think about him shitting on virgil i thought he was honest i thought he was honest i thought he he felt like through him a lot of these people are getting some of the positions that they're getting um i don't necessarily agree but we would have to talk to virgil about that to see if virgil owes some of his success to kanye definitely i think he admits that he does he does. And they have, they have pieced it up. They pieced it up at the Louis Vuitton fashion show last year. Because I, I still think Kanye's a genius, but like it's kind of corny to me that you're looking at how well your friends are doing. Like That's what you put your friends on for, to do well. You can't be upset. It can't be like, I want you to do well, just not better than me. Okay. You don't want me on? Yeah. <laughs> and I still think he's a genius, but I disagree with him in that aspect. Like, to shit on your friend because they're doing well or you're jealous of the position they're in or whatever. Like, bro, you... I remember when they, they cried when he did the first fashion show. Like, that was that was dope. Like, you put your mans on, now you want him to do worse? Or, I don't understand. Yeah, at the same time, I thought it was interesting that he admitted to his to having jealousies. When you're a billionaire... That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? He's a that's billionaire. He's real. He's, that's a, he's a person. Like, dog, this nigga's the man. Yeah. Niggas don't even say the word that they're... Je- they, who says that statement? 
the sentence, I was jealous. And he said it multiple times about a bunch of about people. ASAP. Yeah. He said ASAP dresses better than him. He said Drake now. He says Drake. Yeah, I go to Drake for album sales. Better albums. He yeah. said he said Kendrick has better bars. Bars, yeah. He said the nigga J. Cole was a better backpack rapper. Yeah. He said the nigga... Um, he said Travis borrowed from him, from Cuddy, from ASAP. He said somebody was a better producer. Oh, well, Just, who he, he kind of shitted he, on he Just Blaze, He didn't say that too, about Just Blaze at all. He said, I forget who he said. He said... But there was there was multiple times throughout the whole fifty minutes that I watched that he, he gets said to he just was, he does go to just he says something specifically about just yeah so, but he was I yeah. thought he was talking hot about just he, he was did. he was that's what I, that's what I'm talking about I'm talking about the when he was giving niggas flowers he was giving flowers and their credit yeah I didn't get to the jealousy part okay outside of that other than him saying that he admitted to being him him being admittedly jealous about these people yeah saying like yo I, these niggas inspired me that's real motivational shit. That's hard, son. Niggas yeah. don't say that shit. Yeah. Niggas don't say that. So I didn't get to the... Maybe I would feel differently if I watched the entire shit, but I didn't get to all of that. What I did get to, I was like, wow, son. Like, He's a person. I even thought though it was he's dope, rich, man. Even though, to me, his perspective is different from ours, and we probably can't understand his life, and he and can't he, understand ours. And when, he, and when he was speaking about his wife and with, with son, I just thought that was kind of like, yo, my nigga. Yeah, the nigga, shit with his wife and Drake. He's a man, son. He pulled the... And Darnell, this was interesting. I wanted to ask you how you feel about that, because he kind of... Pulled the, the, the wool back from over our eyes talking Word. about Dr Drake and saying Never how he's... Beat, my nigga. Yeah. Why you yeah. acting like... Why like, you saying that? And it's not even that you're saying that you beat because you're saying that you didn't now. Mm -hmm. But in public, you are making it seem as if it's something different. Yeah, That's how strategic he is. That's never going yeah. to be okay. Yeah. We can't get past this. You know what I'm saying? That's never going to be okay. I'm, it's wifey, my nigga. Yeah. You have children and shit like that. It doesn't even make sense. Why are you even... Alluding to the fact that there's a possibility. Yeah. If you beat, I rap you. Just you know what I'm saying. You beat. And he said that. Yeah. That's, that's why I yo. said, yo, this I fuck with homie. Yeah. Like I didn't even know enough about Kanye West to be act to the person. Yeah. You know what I mean? To hear that, I was like, wow, son. That's real. Yeah. The part where he was basically like, yo, we're both like these big brands, and you talking out like you are gonna do something, nigga? No, you're not. Yeah. Like, that was that real was, too. That was, that was dope. That was, that was, Nobody's that was doing nothing. Yeah. He said, well, nigga, ain't nobody doing nothing. It, yeah. Yeah. It's too many people that depend on us. Yeah. yeah. Collectively. And the nigga was just with Jay Prince. Son. Yeah. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Prince. A couple and days then ago. The, he said there was a, a conversation between Elon Musk and Jay Prince, which is a wild collaboration. But he said that they're in more, the same circle. They're more aligned than they're supposed than to be. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And what more in tune with each other than what people would think. And it's only dope, he could son. make that happen. Come on, son. Nobody else could have put on, Jay Prince man. and Elon Musk at the same table. I know there's a That's lot of fact. people that dislike yeah. Kanye West for whatever their reasons are. Yeah. So they're just not going to look at it objectively. But, son, you just got to listen, my nigga. Just listen. Yeah, I thought it was a great interview, though. I, I, think, I think it was really good. Word, Maybe. from what I've seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, just, I'm just happy that he came to... Same. Yeah, to mm -hmm. yeah word. You know, I thought that was dope. But this nigga got a good point with that. There's no challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're allowed to say whatever, whatever you, you like. If he would have went to the Joe Biden podcast, <laughs> they would have, it would have been a shouting match. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. He would have just started yelling back at him. Yeah. Which y'all think, oh, I'm sorry. Right I was going to say, the funny <laughs> thing is, the funny thing is, you saw what Big Sean said. Before the, that now thought even dropped, they invited him, him onto... No, but they invited Big Sean onto Drink Champs. He's doing Drink Champs next. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Well, that's going to be good. And then... Big Sean said he saw Kanye after the interview. And he didn't say and it was fine. Yeah. Big yeah. Sean was wilding on that super duper lemonade. Go listen to that <laughs> shit if you never did. He oh, was yeah. wilding. I hear that shit. Like, I didn't even know who Big Sean was prior to that song. One of my little homies was listening to the shit. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Because it was wild whack at first. And then that nigga was bugging for like 30 seconds. He straight. got bugs. Like, he was wigging. I was yeah. like, nah. what? Sean is nice. What did y'all think what? about Kanye's thoughts bugging. on verses? Because he said he wanted to do verses, but it'll take like four people to, to match him a producer, a rapper. I'm so my, my takes on verses, y'all wanna hear that shit no more. I lost everyone. So Nah, I'm, go ahead. <laughs> I lost all my shit. However, I do feel like the nigga got some type of he's kind of correct in that in that standpoint because the nigga can do verses from production. Mm -hmm. He could do just his verses. When I be thinking about verses, I'm thinking about who has the best verse on the song. The verses. Niggas can't, I mean, Kanye would lose to a lot of people. He ain't never killed no verse to me. You feel me? But like that's to me. Whoever got the best verse on the song, that's what I always attributed to. Nah. I never even peeped that double entendre. I never knew what it was, Neither my nigga. I. To be honest. That's, that's crazy. Like, why, how would Cam lose? You feel me? How? When you got Jada. Jada. When you got Jada. Yeah, but my, my nigga, yeah. what, what I'm saying is these are bigger songs, too. Yeah, Jada Kisses. Come on, y'all know. Yeah, but now yeah. it looks crazy for me saying, like, how much I like Jada Kisses, because y'all know that. Yeah. 
but it doesn't make sense. I just think Cam is the GOAT because of the nigga he is. You feel me? When, you rap, when you're rapping verses, Kanye West ain't out rapping niggas. However, that shit doesn't matter because you're playing who has the best, whatever, and it's, sometimes it's not the best. Mm. Ja Rule wowed on Fat Joe, and it wasn't the best, whatever, or the best this or that. So I don't, I don't know what the the criteria is. Yeah, what are we judging like, it what by? you're judging it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't, I can't speak on that shit, my nigga. I don't know enough. <laughs> I 100%. think, I think Drake and Kanye could do a versus, and it would make sense. So I think so. Here's how I feel it. So when you say that, when Kanye West says that, it's gonna take four people to go against me, so that that automatically makes nobody gonna go against you because nobody's gonna be one of the four. You're not gonna get four yeah. people to agree like 100%. let's team up. Yeah. Right? So it looks he, crazy. He immediately eliminates himself yeah. from competition. From any verses, yeah. Right? Uh but if it's 20 songs versus 20 songs, yeah, he made Kanye's catalog is super extensive. Like yeah. he can go 200 songs yeah. in the verses. But if you're just going 20, his 20 best songs versus Drake's 20 best songs versus a Jay-Z's 20 best yeah, songs yeah. versus a 50 Cent's 20 best Whole songs. Over 50 got it. Yeah. It's, it's tough because at that level, the 20 songs are elite 20 songs. You For know? everybody. Yeah. Like, all 20 songs are no way at that point. Even and you're not even talking performances, too. There's other factors in it, too, that could... Yeah, but if Kanye gets to, like, perform, like, design the stage and do shit like that, nobody's going to beat him in the verses nah. then because he's going to... Do Kanye shit. Now nah, he's the man though, son. Yeah. You gotta get a nigga his, his credit. Yeah. Has anybody been to a Kanye show? I know Never. Alpha Memphis has been yeah, to yeah. You know, I did Pablo. Yeah, that shit was fucking crazy. I, went, I did St. Pablo and Glow in the Dark. I actually saw him when yeah. Jesus Walks was out on his first album before he was wow. the Kanye that y'all all know. Yeah. And um he was literally the backpacker with the uh, the polo polo on and everything. Yeah. And nobody knew who he was. He was um he was the opening act <laughs> at this show for um, Mary J. Blige and um, the Energy God, the Ray J., uh, Reggae Energy God. Oh, Elephant Man. The Elephant Man. He yeah. was opening for Elephant Man and Mary J. Blige at a concert. That's right. And that's when I saw him. I heard you shortly was there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's what they said. They, 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 she was Pondy Ripper, my nigga. That's what they said, my nigga. You looking at me with this rage, my nigga. Look, that's what they said. <laughs> Not for the record. I'm waiting for one episode that we can just let this story my go. My nigga, they said go. There's like so many other one stories, but we can't let it go. She <laughs> need more say, wood for the fire. fire. <laughs> Flames and fire. Ooh. That's a fire song. <laughs> Sick from the prostitution, but she can't retire. <laughs> Flames and fire. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start in that thing is higher. <laughs> That's a great song for your bitch, though, for real. Because my nigga, it takes no, one... No, 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 sorry. Wait, wait. More before, than one man. Before we go any further. <laughs> more than one man. Please remove the... Please remove Yo, the your. X, wait. X, my wait. Boy. Our bitch. Please. My, 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 our bitch. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, lad. She's tired. Remember the prostitution, but she can't retire. Oh, shit. There's, all, there's no ownership there. It's not, she's not even ours. Flames and fire. Just, it's just her. Yeah, yeah. Just her. Just, just, just the bitch. bitch. Just, the bitch. The bitch. Just bitch. The Yo, bitch. that's crazy. Now, I ain't gonna disrespect you shorty like that, my nigga. I, I would never disrespect. Don't do that. She's not my shorty. Uh, Don't do that. Don't 90 do Day Fiance is crazy, yeah. though. <laughs> that's what they Don't said, that. though. They said she was, in, she was wrapped up in that. Bro, I haven't oh. seen this bro in like over 10 years. It was a reggae years, fest. My nigga. <laughs> Yeah. She, she's still at the, the concert. Whole, the whole fest was solid was gold. <laughs> <laughs> Remember solid gold? You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. Nah, the rhythms. What was yeah, the rhythms? The rhythms. The rhythms. Yeah. The rhythms. Yeah. The rhythms. Oh, man. <laughs> Just give me the light. <laughs> Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even keeping the regular order straight. It was a few of them, nigga. Right, but it was a few. That's what I'm saying. You know she. Not one man, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> you know that bitch is a minus. We told you this already. Elephant man is crazy. Uh, yeah, word. That's before so, he had the dreads or none of that. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Pundy bunk. Pundy. That's crazy. All right. I see All enough. Right. To- <laughs> <laughs> that's Bro. crazy. You know why I I'm was not saying no more stories. I'm not telling you no more stories. <laughs> you know the reason I was tight when I met her, though? Because she said she was from Great Neck, New York. And that shit was just high. I was just the mad. Said that shit, I saw the joke coming nah, from Nah, because you know, it'd be right, over there. Facts. That's facts. where they do Hot 97 facts. shows at. <laughs> they said she, said she was from, I said, you bitch, you from Little Neck. You know what I'm saying? That's a Little Neck. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want the rest. You feel me? Yeah, take the rest of that shit back. You feel me? Like, uh, Mama Ron neck or whatever the other neck. Right. What other neck? It wasn't great neck. All right. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 
We gotta put the story to oh, like, oh, oh, we gotta oh, kill oh, the oh, story, oh, man. Like, not story. even, not even that. I don't care about the girl. It's just like, bro, we we beat this shit to death already. Flames like, and nah, niggas, nah, niggas just beat it to death, but they brought they it back. To death. <laughs> <laughs> but they brought it back. back. <laughs> we resuscitated. <laughs> That's the word of the day: resuscitation. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, resuscitate is crazy. Nah, but word. Nah, my, no, wait, wait. I'm gonna need you to spell was that. That's accurate. Yeah, Please, yeah. let's, let's just. Pop, I need you to spell that. Though. Resuscitation. Try. Mm. You got it. You got the Me? keyboard right from. Um, R E S. You got auto. Nah, 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 nah. You got auto no, on the computer. It's R E S. Not you. Yeah. U C. I T A T E. Resuscitate. Resuscitate. That wasn't it. R E S U C I T A T E. T A T E. All right. We're going to get this uh, spelling, spelling bee. There you go. go. Mm. We gonna it's funny. See, I know you got it, my nigga. It's I funny. can spell, man. Of course well, you I'm, can, nigga. Well, I'm noticing and I was wrong. Is, niggas don't do, <laughs> you know, it, like hip-hop, there was like the, the diss song and shit like that. Niggas don't do diss songs anymore. Niggas do interviews. Niggas do interviews and yeah, go to the yeah, press yeah, yeah. and do all that other silly shit. I just talked about podcast stealing from us. Now you're stealing from another podcast. So what do you rock. mean? Oh, shit. Who he stole what that podcast? from? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Say that shit. Too, right? Say that shit. Uh, who he said that from? Who he stole it from? That's from the Biden podcast. Oh, what? And you podcast? watched it. And you no, own it. I did. I, yes, you nah. is. You own the podcast. You <laughs> no, did. I didn't see the episode. Yes, you did. I didn't even see it. You was there. I swear to God, I didn't see the episode. Now, nah, we don't do that, Reg. We don't do that I shit. I didn't steal from the podcast. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, what's up to you? Revive from unconsciousness or apparent death. Y'all can see. Because you said we beat it to death and we did. She looked dead. All right. But <laughs> oh, honestly, he's the only necrophiliac, my nigga. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? What did they say exactly? I showed up and I was like, oh, she's still breathing. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> he was tight. You can see the, the chest cavity was lifting. And then I hit her with that move, too. <laughs> That's why I hit her with to the Jersey all, Club music. First of all, <laughs> bang, bang. Even if bang. she was dead, even if she was dead, you wouldn't beat right away because she didn't decompose yet. She still <laughs> looked like a no person. The I know. She, That's she, crazy. She has to be a fucking skeleton. That's what I you can do. It's so. cool. And you look like T.A. No Tamara, little whatsoever. brother. That's who you look like Taj, with the glasses. Taj, Taj. Smart guy. Taj. <laughs> Stupid ass fro. Mm. You're Taj, making me brother. mad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in the comments called you red alert, my nigga. I cried. <laughs> I didn't see that. Now I you gotta cried. get a kangle. You have to. <laughs> you have I to wear cried. a kangle for the rest of your life now. You gonna look like one of the niggas that be on the train. Remember them Salvation Army niggas? Mm-hmm. What's them niggas' names? The Guardian Angels? Guardian Angels. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you was definitely a Guardian Angel. You was. Why would I ever be a Guardian Angel? You was. It was Why? only a spare time. You I just don't even like to people. Coat. I don't like people. But Why you would just wore the coat and the kangle. You ain't <laughs> even saved nobody. Them? That's why they got rid of you. You had mad little badges on the top of your shit, too. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, the, the Just for the fashion. I'm the fallen angel. <laughs> <laughs> the forgotten angel. My only begotten son. That's crazy, son. You really my only begotten son. That's wow. That was you right there. I remember you. That's how I met I you. Nigga. Him. That's how I met you. Angel. Never. That's you in the corner. I can see him. That's gotta get crazy. you one of them shirts now. I just hey. like you wanna know I dislike that guy though? Who? He was he just ran for mayor. Curtis Siva or Silva? I forgot how to pronounce it. Who the nigga in the front? Yeah. Oh wow. He's running for mayor. But I remember being a kid. He's mad racist. He called OD. Biggie yeah. a notorious PIG. And I'll yeah. never forget that. And I was oh, like, he's a piece of shit ever since then. Yeah, that's whack. And, and yeah, he lost of, my vote just off that. How about saying speaking of which, Eric, what was his name who who did win? Adams. Eric Adams. Uh just won what was that, mayor? Yeah. He was, okay, so Eric Adams, one mayor in New York, former police officer, right? Yep. <clears throat> so it's gonna be interesting what yeah. happens in New York now moving forward. Uh. Yeah. Everybody, uh, well, a lot of the officials in New York are black now. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, unless you're ex cop, but we'll see. <laughs> but we'll see. Gross? How you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the thing is crazy. Is I-, I can see the jokes coming from a mile away now. It's like, there's no surprise, but. Mm. And you still I'm can't dodge him. <laughs> I guess, my nigga. <laughs> Why do you do my those sounds? My dad catch a bullet mm-hmm. with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jackie, that from? That Jackie. <laughs> Jackie Chan. <Yo. laughs> <Rush out>. My <laughs> daddy wants catch a bullet. He said, my daddy with your daddy ass. <laughs> oh, from here all the way up to that great wild and all that. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> I love Yo, it, your kid's proud of you, though, my nigga. Stop ducking your badge, my nigga. They proud of you. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> Your kids is wild proud of you. Bro, I'm not a cop. You're the only they black are, cop wait, on the force. Wait, they are proud of me. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a firefighter and all that other stuff. Firefighter? Yeah. Oh, shit. I said firefighter. That's what's up, man. I ain't even know. I know you switched lanes. There's only, there's only one oh, yo, that does that. I got to apologize to you, too, because you said, the way you formed the question, you said, um, is BMF the best show on TV? And it is. 100%. Right, right now. Right now. Said, right now. Yeah. Yep. Snowfall's still better. It's too early. And it's coming back. But it's once you on asked the right question, now. I was like, nah, he's right. Right yeah. now, there ain't nothing better. That's the no. best show out right now. Yeah. It's, I agree. It's like great, though. Like, yeah. This shit is great, my nigga. You know what I mean? So, Yo, you got it. I felt like when he said that, you hadn't really been watching yet. No, like, he wasn't, nah, he, I was, he was watching, watching. I was just thinking, like, all the other shit okay. that you consume and all the other content you consume, period. I, you know what I mean? I'll like, tell you what it is. Pop said, nah, I want Darnell to be wrong. Nah, he just said, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm never, be I'm wrong. never go against you, my nigga. I already know you the top dog. I heard you. I heard about you. I heard a lot about you, man. They said that um, over, over there at the Blue Pearl. <laughs> the, blue, the Blue Oyster. <laughs> You remember the Blue Oyster? <laughs> <laughs> that was his spot. World, the world be? Oh. <laughs> That's where yeah. Oh, nah, that nah, wouldn't know that. Where's the intertwining on stage? World P was lit, man. Combustion. Yeah. But you got to give it to, you got to give it to 50, though. Well, yeah. He really, like, he's really made it as a TV yeah. executive. Yeah, he's the man. And he's killing it, too. Yo, Come on, you know what's fucking Even crazy? Even for Life. One whack show, not Even one. for Life was dope. For Life You know what's crazy about that? Stars wasn't doing so great before Power came on, right. and now, you know, 50's doing all that dope stuff over at Stars, so now they might sell Stars. We seen 50 wow. posts, my nigga. We all seen it. Which is, which is crazy. You go over there, you build so much value, and then... Yeah, I hope he buys it, though. Yeah, he's stealing That'd a lot of shit. information now. What? That would be crazy. That's crazy. Right? How much we all seen that, my nigga. We all seen it. You was, about to, you was about to say that and offer this information like you researched it. <laughs> nah, I'm like bringing he it up. Yeah. Like he got off the phone with 50. Nigga, we seen We're it. bringing we're it up because I was at Astro World right before Travis went on. I just had to tell Travis, hey, I got to take this call for yeah. 50. And then I <laughs> 50 told him. <laughs> when he gave me the sweater, that security. <laughs> when he gave me his security <laughs> sweater. <laughs> it's a podcast, right? <laughs> Good, and we're man. discussing things right. on said podcast. Everybody saw Drink Champs, yeah. right? Mm. We're discussing that. It wasn't mm. new news. We mm. weren't announcing that Kanye was on there. Yeah, really. People were fucking aware. Talk to him. Did, did you right. not just right. present right. this news? Oh, he's tight, too. Oh, you were, no, no. You don't see the rigidity. I'm still making a point. Yeah, I'm still making a point. Yeah, I'm still making a point. Yeah. All right. I don't give a fuck about the hat, my nigga. It's not even a real mirror. <laughs> oh! He's <laughs> wild in the day. Oh, oh, right, Rez. Oh, shit. So like I was saying. Put the legs on him, Rez. Put the legs on him. Like I was saying. Oh, shit. What's wrong with this shit? Huh? This your service was? What? Oh, That's why you can't get no service, my niggas. That's why you can't get no service. Put the beam on them. That's the what you call told them. Watch the pod. There's a, good, there's a good amount of people that watch the pod. <laughs> That's what Shirley who, told you, too. Who What's wrong with your thing? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild as wild as wild. That's how that's she ended up. That's why she kept Sachi's fire. That's right. how she ended up with UGK. All right. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> they said Bo so, B was wilding on your bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. Bo B is crazy. Big Pimpin'. All right. Spinning so, the cheese, my nigga. So, there are people who might watch the pod. Big so what I was saying. Sorry, who only, who only get their news. <laughs> who only get their news from the pod. Who? 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 You like you know, different TikTok. podcasts. TikTok. Yeah. Exactly. Basically. <laughs> Don't take financial advice from medical us. Advice. Medical advice. Medical <laughs> 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 advice. Definitely not. Relationship advice. Medical 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 Medical advice. 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 Medical I live a different lifestyle than these niggas. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's dead. Yo! He's dead! <laughs> Freddie got figured out the funniest shit niggas ever saw in this podcast. Your yeah, man is different. That's it. I said what I said, you heard? <laughs> Freddie got figured out. Yeah. We can stop the show. We can just stop everything. I said what I said. Do I ain't doing else. all that. I don't like to sound Bruh. ignorant. You feel me? Bruh. But it's the truth. <laughs> nigga. I just feel like, you know what I mean? It don't add up. That was the funniest shit I've ever Yo, I was heard. arguing with niggas in the barbershop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Niggas said the Bronx and Queens, because we always go back and forth. About what? For, for hip hop. Oh, Queens got it. Y'all niggas don't got it. First of all, okay. we have to. Hold on. That's a great debate. Hold on. Okay. Now think about it. All I'm Bronx saying is birth. quantity over quality. Y'all got that. Because we don't have many niggas, right? The Bronx, we don't have as many as them. 
They got Nas. They got Banks. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They got 50. They got Matt. Keep going. LL. AZ. Mm-hmm. LL Cool J. They Bob got B. what? AZ ain't from Queens. AZ ain't from Queens? Where you from? Brooklyn. Oh, where? Well, y'all got mad people. So yeah. I understand that. But we have punch, so we have the highest quality. So I understand it's oversaturated because there's so many people in Queens. But so, Pun is the only nigga ever in life to rap with. Um, he rap with. He got songs with Big. Now, hold on, who was on there? Who, who was on there? It was Ray Raycorn was on there. Kiss was on there, and Nas. And Pun got the best verse. Y'all got stack bundles. He from Queens. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a lot of rappers, so I get it. But it's just the quality. Like the quality is still up because all of them niggas is top ten, top twenty niggas. I get that. Pun is the top top. Pause. He's the best one. So it's not that because we got Fred the Godson too, you know what I mean? We got we got um Joe. You ain't say Joe. You gotta say yeah, Joe. Yeah, but Fat Joe lyrically don't compare to them. <laughs> so I'm not trying to I'm not trying to front on. You said a bit of verses, would you say? Huh? You said nah, you why not? He got great songs. Yeah. Nah, I'm saying we're talking about on you. If it's just the verse, yeah. If we talking about verses though, like real talk, Cuban mm-hmm. Link can rap. I know we can't talk. We're not adding him to that or Drag On, but Drag On can rap. We not add. So we don't have the quantity of rappers y'all have. But we won because Pun. None of them niggas is better than Pun. Pun out rapped all them niggas on the songs. On one song? Nigga, that's the only song they was ever together. Is that the only song that we count forever? No. If we're talking about verses, that's what I'm saying. In my mind, we was talking about the criteria of who had the best verse. That's what I, that's where we stem from. So the Bronx versus Queens, you from Queens, you're gonna say Yo, all of that. I hear you. Jeremy Lin had a good run too. I don't know what that is. Right? Long story short. <laughs> that's what to make him the greatest NBA player. No, no, no. I didn't right. say, no, I'm, I'm not talking about puns just that verse. I'm just saying in that verse. That's the only thing we can compare to if we're talking about that song. That's the only song they got together. And he beat Nas. Nas had the third best, maybe fourth best verse. Yo, but when you go Nas's career and yeah. overall, Nas is yeah, better yeah. than all of them. Nas is better than niggas, 100%. Yeah, you can't debate Pun, that. Pun had two albums, he didn't get and, time. And that's the okay, only so thing. You that's can, why it's what hard. you can say yeah. is... Big Pun had, was Pun the best on that song. Yeah. No, Big right? Pun's the had, best. No, Big Pun's the best. He didn't get his time. Let's be for real now. No, but hold on. He's saying he had the potential to get better, but he hold never on, had that's the opportunity. Fine. Know, right? This ain't Afropunk, man. Okay. Oh, my rap rap. Hold on. Punch two, al- al- punch punch two albums, good. right? Yeah. Yeah. You've never yeah. heard of it. Was that better than, <laughs> than Illmatic? I mean, we talking about the best album he ever had. You talking about Nas's best album. You can we go. We talking about Nas's best album. Was it better than Stillmatic? Yes. Was it better than It Was Written? It was it was written. Was a, is, is a, I am is my favorite one, right? The nigga with the when he's a little boy on the front. Nah, I am. That's Illmatic. That's, that's, that's Illmatic. That's Illmatic. Il, oh yeah, Illmatic, Illmatic. Illmatic is the best that's album. The first album. That's 90, the best album. 90, 90, 90, that's his 96. best album. That is his best album. It's his best album. Nigga. That's his like, first album. About? That's his best album. It's his best right, album. But what all I, the rest of them says yes. Capital Punishment is better. Yes. <laughs> Fuck out of it. Nigga. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Fuck just not. That's a great debate. It's not better. I just think, no, like, like Reg was saying, it doesn't make any point. Unfit. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make I'm any not sense. basically. I'm, I was saying. Capital punishment is not better. That, than it was written. I'm saying that that um, track is the only one we have with them together. You feel me to compare it to? And I, yo, I never shit on Nas. You know. That, I know you don't. I'm just and I'm not shitting on Pun. I'm just saying. Of course not. I, I, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's a good debate though, because great debate. Be, because the amount of rappers that you have to consider outside of that, because I think Nas is OD. What I like punchlines. You feel me? So that's why I'd rather listen to Banks or Pun or shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Nas is great, though, my nigga. That nigga's great. So I get it. And y'all have way more than us. But the Bronx started the shit that y'all stole. Ooh. Okay. So, hold on. And then y'all didn't do it better. Y'all just did it a lot. <laughs> we didn't you understand better? what I'm saying? How did we you do it better? Because be- we still have Pun. We only have the but only But Nas pun is ever. better. Nah, that's crazy. Nas is that. better. Can That's going to really come down to personal preference, but it's unfortunate. You know, yeah. Big and Pun, we just didn't get to we hear didn't get enough. enough. They both nigga. had two albums. Because yeah. right. to him, and that's, this is your opinion, and you're fine. Big Pun's the greatest rapper of all time. Yes. Okay. Right. That's so how you biased. feel. Yeah, he's biased on it. I'm, how biased? Nigga, I'm listening to the fucking rap. Are you not, you're not listening right. to the same shit I'm listening but to? No, we listening to it. We just feel differently about it. Agree, and you like him best. Capital so who had the best, uh, the best uh, verse on the song? Okay, we can agree. I'm Big asking fun. you. But I'm so saying, I, the, so if he had the best verse and he's out rapping niggas, how he's not the best? It just doesn't. Patrick Ewing beat Michael but Jordan before at that, too. At he's not world. better. No, no, in the team. Oh, but, oh, yeah. the, but, but the Knicks weren't better in the Bulls. Yeah, but if it's, they play one on one, it's not the same thing. It's the outcome is Mike every time. Pat Ewing, niggas, stop playing no, with me, so man. You, you, you get what I'm you saying don't though. Rappers no. could. That's one game you're talking about. No, I'm just saying that's the only thing we compare to, but, my nigga. Nah, let's compare the albums. You ever hear the albums? Not fucking with that. That's not fair. They only got two. At that point, he might have been better than them. 
But not over time, it's, not, it's got just not fair. Okay, I, you know, it's not fair, man. And he doesn't even fair. like to put him in conversations like this. I don't like to talk about him. Like I don't like to talk about Big in conversations because I love Big. But you don't like pun like that, my nigga. His first two albums versus Nas first two albums. Come on. What's the second one? Is I Am the second one? Because that I Am was hard. I like no, I Am. it's what you call it. It's Illmatic and it was written. The no, two what's, best what's, albums what's that I Am. Which one you got? Is that when he's the Nefertiti, like the Pharaoh? That's I Am. I Am, yeah. That's, that's I a, Am. That's better than It Was Written to Me. Illmatic, but, 94. It Was Written, 96. Yeah, it was, it was, um, I, I think it's I Am. I Am is, yeah, 99. Hold on. <laughs> what, it's, what's the one with, um, with, um, Money Is My Bitch, Dr. Knock Boot, Paws? Um, that's I am. That's I am. Yeah, I am is the best. That's that's Illmatic and then I am. The other joints, I'm good. The nigger joint, that's your favorite album, which is crazy. <laughs> that's your favorite album. No, and got a lot of really my, favorite, my favorite Nas album is, is written actually. Yeah, yeah, Nas got a lot of great albums. I mean, Illmatic nigga, it was written. Life is about, good. Was that's excellent. The God, Life, is good. Life is good. King's Disease One and Two, excellent. That's God's yeah. son, my nigga. Yeah, we got it. He, he, I'm just saying, my nigga. Legend. When I was listening to that, I was like, damn, I wish this nigga was so, there. So all right, so then let's go to the next. So if if uh, yeah, but that's great, yeah. right? Who's after, who's under pun? Who's Banks. the next one? Oh, in in the Bronx? Yeah. Shit. Why? Cardi B. See, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> you just saying shit. You just saying shit. Relax. It's crazy. <laughs> Relax. It's Give niggas some time. How you got? Oh, I, like, I thought you laughed. I did. Hold laugh. on. I thought you laughed. Yeah. I did laugh. Now you can't laugh. What you mean? I did laugh. Who's your favorite rapper? <laughs> See? See what I'm saying? Let's stop. All right. Stop. All right. First of all, no. First of all, in the Bronx, though, we still got we still got Fred. We got um, the idea that this nigga is like somehow like the authority on rap, bro. You have I your forgot, preference. I That's forgot it. Slick Rick was from the uh, BX. Slick Rick is oh, one of my all-time favorite rappers. Well, he's not from there because he's from the UK. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That is the borough that he right, played. Slick Rick or LL. Oh, LL. That's right, LL. You got that? Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. I'll give you somebody else. Nah, nah, nah. Who's your number two? That's what I'm saying, son. It's, it's difficult to you know what I mean. <laughs> Word. I think this is crazy. <laughs> it gets spooky after that. But you, you ain't um, Mr. C from Queens? <laughs> nah, he's uh, from Brooklyn. I was about to say, because DJs, you can't that, fuck with us. We got Flex, nigga. Uh, flex is from, yeah, from the BX, yeah. <laughs> flex don't even have Flex no more. What you mean? He done shaved everything nah, he had nah, nah, left nah, nah, off. Nah, relax, relax that. Relax that, <laughs> my nigga, you bug it. And we got Clue. Oh, yeah, that's my son, too. Yeah. So did y'all see that Netflix movie? Uh, Hard as they fall. He was in that too. He tried to switch it up real quick. No, he was in there. Michael B. I saw, I saw the <laughs> shit, shit going left. That you had your, you had your sons kill each other and shit Who? like that. Yeah. And how did they fall? Oh, you do a little bit look like that nigga. A little. You died. In oh, the, the nigga in the beginning, but niggas made that joke like three I times know. already. That's how I like know you was in the movie. Nah, no, not really. He has a mustache, and that's pretty much it. You look like we're both black, and he has a mustache. And, and he's bald. And it's, it pretty much It's still stops. bald. Even if you try to grow your shit in, it's it still bald. It pretty much stops there. Why, yeah, why you you right? fit the description, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't y'all like to say that so much? It's like, <laughs> it hurts when they flip it on you. What? You fit the description. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts when they flip how? it on you. How? Don't it hurt fuck? when they find out your dog is a cat, my nigga? Wait, <laughs> hurt. How? How did we even get to the cop thing? How, Yo, like, there's nothing about me that fam, resembles... The movie was good, right. though. That was a great movie. Jay-Z never... He don't miss... It was a great movie. It was pretty good. Shout out to Jay Z for making the, get a million followers in like six hours and, <laughs> and then shutting that. that shit down. He's yeah. the man. Oh, he deleted it already? Yeah, yeah. he shut yeah. it down. He had a million <laughs> the same like a, day in like a day. Mm. That's late. Six hours. Four hours. Word. But Beyonce mm. shout him out, so it's hard to not attain a mass mm. yeah. amount. Mm. That's wild. Though. When Beyonce mm. shouts you out, she's the only yeah. one you follow. Two hundred plus million. So yeah. You know what I mean? So that's gonna move. move However, follow. he's the man. The shit was great. I don't. I don't have any bad mm. shit to say about it. The movie was okay. Oh, that's what? Right. Yeah, that's you crazy. hate black that's excellence. Exactly. That's my favorite movie of the year. Son, to me, easily. By I mean, it's pretty good. Best movie I've seen this year. Right. It's pretty good. Far. There are certain things that like I didn't love about the movie. What didn't you love about the movie? I mean, please tell me. Like, like there are certain plot points that, that I didn't you really knock. understand. It's a no-knock warrant, and you know that. You, that's what it was. All right. <laughs> so, so why even have a podcast? Let's just all agree with you <laughs> and just call it. We agree with Pop, and I you just it. talk. So, so let me ever so let me finish a, a statement. <laughs> when the last time I did, the nigga just asked me a question about why I didn't like the movie. I don't give a fuck how you. Like, I'm just right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There were certain plot points that I didn't understand why they brought them up. Like even the the what's that called again? Where she went into the the uh, what's it called again? The town Redwood and got caught and all the other shit. Cool, but what was the what was the point? Basically, we need you to get captured. To have this nigga come down and do this whole other thing, I guess. I feel like there were there was a better way to execute that whole thing. What was it? He could have wrote it better. I, 
I don't. If you gave me time, like <laughs> I'd probably figure it out. But I, I just didn't like the way that was set up. I like the whole Quentin Tarantino vibe they had with the movie. Because he's white. So, makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. So Quentin Tar- it's, not, it's not a Quentin Tarantino it's not, vibe. It's not. Right? The genre is called spaghetti western. Yes. I understand That's that. That's what Quentin Tarantino I understand made. that. But there were some elements from that that basically echoed stuff that he's done before. Because mm. he it's okay for people spaghetti to be inspired. Westerns, spaghetti western movies. He's been inspired by other people. This, I felt, was inspired by him. That's mm. all I'm saying. Mm. Whatever you say, man. The black man's the original man. I, the I guess. Black man. He borrowed heavily. I guess. <laughs> Yo! He borrowed. He you know what he did? No. Right. Hold on, hold on. All right. He Are borrowed, you not? He borrowed. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino oh, borrowed shit. heavily from black exploitation films mm. and everything like that. Mm. I'm saying they borrowed from Quentin Tarantino and he borrowed from someone that happened. So then. People they, are inspired by people who did whatever it was before. If that's the case, they didn't borrow from him at all. They borrowed from the originator. Staff law. I guess. <laughs> Staff law. But what I'm saying is, Yo, I he like can't look the at you the eye. I, you, you gotta go like that so to keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to focus. Right. It's, it's like a lottery ball. You don't know where it's gonna stop at. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> Man, stop Meech. shaking your head, please. <laughs> Man, Meech. <sighs> <gasps> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> That's a fact. He's the worst actor on the show. Stop, let's keep it hundred. Nah. Even B. Mickey better than my son. He be like, Meech, man. He's Haitian. Like, I don't want to like shit. B. Mickey's the man. He is I fuck with B. Too. Mickey. Kato, I like everybody. Yeah. I, I don't dislike son. I'm just saying, the nigga Meech. that plays Southwest Terry. Mm. Kind of flashy. I, I don't know if it's him doing a bad job or if it's some of them <laughs> other ones doing such a... Like, Meech is yeah. killing that shit. Yeah, he's yeah, doing yeah. Such Lamar a good is killing that he's shit. He's doing an awesome job. So they are just nah, Lamar, outshining him. Lamar. Lamar is that nigga. Yeah. So Yo, he's just doing such a good job that the rest of them... The actor that plays Lamar. Yeah. How are the British actors better at being us than us? Yeah. It's wild. Because they exaggerate it. Like they, you're you're looking from the outside, and you're they they exaggerate it. Like if you look at um, Andrew Garfield's American accent, like he's almost Who's like uh, the guy who plays Spider Man. The Spider Man that nobody liked. That was the mm. one like in between Tobey Maguire. And no, the Maguire. new one. Andrew Garfield. Is oh no, guy. he's not Andrew Garfield. My bad. Not Andrew Garfield. Um, Tom fucking, Holland is who Tom you're Holland. thinking of. Yeah. Mm. They're both British or whatever the fuck though. But Reg, when yeah. we giving black people credit, why you always seem to go back to the white folks? I just don't I'm act. not going back. I'm giving you examples. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like you could said, use Idris Elba as an example. You just said how amazing. you could use him. Yeah, it's amazing. Why didn't you choose him? You know I'm saying we was talking about because us I just saw a us. clip. Well, not like us. to jump back to the heart of uh, they fall real quick, I did want to say this. There's a lot of historical references that um are real and so I think people should do their history that was one of the best things all to the, me all those right. characters are based on real all those characters people. are based on real yeah. people Redwood City was a real um, place and I wanted to know what do y'all think about these villains in, in movies I was reminded of Killmonger after I watched it that I might kind of side with yeah. did y'all not feel what Idris nah, or, or Buck was, Rufus was trying to do yeah nigga yeah, yeah. yeah. yo I, I ain't gonna lie like it took to me till I was a grown man to realize the villains be right right oh yeah yeah. As a kid, you always root for the good guy, no matter who it is. White, black, whoever, you just vote for the good guy. But when you get older, son, I, yo, Joker, that nigga was tired, son. Like, he was tired, my nigga. Yeah. Nigga said, I'm tired. He was tired, <laughs> boss. <laughs> nigga was tired of shit. I get it, my nigga. Mm-hmm. And the older you get, the more you realize, like, son, I ain't trying to hear niggas partying all night. Mm-hmm. Niggas got shit to do in the morning. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't want to hear that shit no more. And I, I agree with it in in practice, but like what I mean in like the concept, but like the way he went about it, I I didn't really. Yeah, he was, he was don't violent. Justify yeah. The end. yeah, he was like, extremely violent. Like if you look at Killmonger, like that was executed differently. Killmonger was like, if I don't have to kill a black person, I won't because I don't want to kill truth one of our own that. type of thing. But but Killmonger, Whereas this dude, the yeah. minute that nigga disagreed with him, he was just go. like, yeah, but, he got. But go. understand that Killmonger was extremely violent as well. He burnt all of the. Um, purple flowers so that so there would never be another king after him. Yeah. His his words were, the, the sun will never set on Wakanda. He wanted to literally, he wanted to wrap around the world. He wanted there to be nothing but him and his legacy. It wasn't about Wakanda. Reason, you know what I mean? So, he's the voice of reason. Yeah. And he's the guy holding that in the Matrix? That's that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> all the fucking little keys. Asian nigga. <laughs> well, he got all them keys and shit. He making mad noise when he walked down. Where do you keep them keys at? Them tight ass pants, my nigga. Come on, it's, it's cargo though. Pause. It's cargo. I don't even need that answer. But you could compare those two niggas, Killmonger yeah. and the nigga Rufus, Rufus yeah. is, is completely different. Yeah. Nah, he's right. 
Yeah, I didn't think I they was, were that I different. was agreeing with yeah. you. Then he fucked up your whole yeah. argument. I no, he didn't. It's, it's, it's the same argument. It's not because he's he's correct. That nigga was wild ruthless. I yeah. know, but Killmonger was ruthless in a way where it's like, I'm going to force you to see the the point of view I have. Like, basically, when Killmonger was sending them all out to basically give their weapons to all the African yeah. Americans, it was basically like, you're going to see my point. It, I believe I'm right. That was Rufus. And you're going to see my point. Well, I feel like yeah. the character Rufus, in that love was also on the but, same type of time. But too, Rufus, like, Rufus was more so in. less about black people. I felt like it was more about him. Power. That makes sense. You're a Rufus type of nigga because you called us African Americans. So, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, niggas that say that usually don't fuck uh, with us. But, uh, I guess. <laughs> you, that's correct, though, because the nigga was kind of selfish with it. So Which one? Rufus. Is, Rufus. Mm. What he's saying is, I get it. But you was correct too. That I forgot that he was wilding on the whole entire Wakanda. That's wrong, nigga. My point of view is not so much more grandiose than yours. Mm-hmm. Doesn't my ideology doesn't need to be correct? Mm-hmm. It's mine, right? It's, it's correct to me. It doesn't have to be correct for you. So to see make niggas, force niggas to see your point of view is kind of wicked. You know what I mean? And the nigga was killing niggas too. I was starting out believing his point of view because it was the truth. He was like a little less violent. Off the rip, my son Buck was shooting niggas dead if they even look wrong, right? Right. But that goes to his statement that it was about us, not me. You feel me? That nigga Rufus was about him. He wanted that town to be ran his way. Well, again, I think, black. I, I think that scene where he burnt the flower let you know it was about him. There will never it be was. another Black Panther. There will never be another. And so in that, there was a lot of selfish, selfishness. But also, yeah. it's a Marvel. This is semantics, but it's Marvel versus... Um, a movie that's not produced by Marvel. So the yeah. the kill, amount of people Killmonger kill, he got that name Killmonger because yeah, he killed so many people. The scarification on his body yeah. was denoting death. So I he thought that was bed bugs. <laughs> I called a bitch Killmonger one time and she got really upset because she had <laughs> the crazy eczema all over her shit. And I called her Killmonger and that was the last straw. She was tired of me. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I thought that was bed bugs. Man. But nah, Killmonger had been killing people all across the world. Same shit. That's crazy. Um, scarification. Like the back of a crunch ball. Uh, Old body like that. Ahead, I'm, I'm, I, I ain't seen a nigga body, Paul. I'm just saying <laughs> everyone's arms. Rufus, like, even when he killed certain people, I think he did He wasn't just, like, seeking out to kill people. I didn't feel that way either. Yeah. like He, he let Willie them. live initially. Who? Willie Esco, the dude, uh, Dion Cole, the, the comedian who was playing. Yeah, the, the yeah he said, yo, because we used to be friends. Yeah, he let him live. Get up out of here, yeah. yeah. He, he let him live. Knocked all his teeth out, but... Yeah, yeah. He that let, was ruthless. Was that? Yeah. Was that? He less, let the other dude live. Who? Who? Um, his brother. Twice he let him. Who's live. his brother? Uh, Nat. Oh. Main character. Nat Love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He let him live twice. Yeah, but he was supposed he to. Let, he, he, had had he let Nat yeah. live because that was his brother, and he at the end he said he didn't have the heart to kill his brother. Yeah. And I feel like once he was pardoned, he he was okay killing citizens, but that nigga was an elected official. He was a mayor and a sheriff. But he didn't want static, so he let him go. And he then said, he Don't made, come back. forced him to go rob shit, so now he's an outlaw everywhere in the world from now on. So that was ruthless, too. Yeah, but he killed, he killed the dude that spoke up about yeah. the taxes because if you let him slide, then yeah. other people are going to start feeling froggy, too. So you right. have to make an example out of him. Let Ray have to kill him. My nigga. You, you have to point. kill anybody who disagrees with what I'm saying. You got I point, understand Ray. what you're you saying. You got a point, my nigga. The difference with Killmonger is... I've, and I might have mis- uh, misremembered, there were points where basically he just locked niggas up. And it might be because it was a Marvel movie That's where he had them put in cells or whatever. But mm-hmm. I felt like it was like, if I don't have to unnecessarily kill black people, I won't do it. Because I'm, I'm here to rock with black people even though this is a coup and I have to do all this reckless shit to take over. And he had an argument where like, bro, I should have been here in the first place. I understand, Rufus. You see, like I, we let Brad miss a few yeah. pods. Now Ev Wallen. Yeah. Ev miss yeah. See? You gotta stop so that. You gotta you stop. Gotta, yeah. Brad's got no you control gotta, over his life. Gotta, That's see. Brad's fault, though. Brad married Aksuna my What was her name? Aksuna <coughs> my Moon. <laughs> What's her name from, from um, <laughs> the mummy? I just told you. Aksuna my No, it's not Aks. Um, from the, the How the fuck did you say her name? <laughs> I don't know. Knocks on the moon. Knocks on the moon. That's what he married. That's why. She's too bad. My nigga, that nigga, got a, he don't got no control over his life. Mm. This nigga Brad, yo, this nigga has no control. <laughs> she in there. Brad washing dishes and picking flowers. He ain't even at work right now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Salute to like Brad, Jason's but that's what happened when you ba- you can't come on. Some Brad wife too bad. That's why. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss a day. But you no, I, I really did think home. it was a great movie. I, I do respect your opinion, Reg, but I, I did think it was a great movie, and I think the historical references. Yeah. I don't think <laughs> it was know, a bad. I don't think it was, it was a bad movie. I fucked with the movie. I'm just saying, nah. like, I wouldn't say it's the best movie I saw yet. Yeah, it's it a fun, it's, it is. It's it phenomenal. Um, I think. But it's the director's first. Phenomenal. It's his first joint, right? He's no directed other things. Oh, it's yeah. the first one I've seen. Oh, yeah. they they knew James Bond. It was hard, but it wasn't better. Yeah, it was definitely better. Yeah, it was. It was definitely yeah. I mean, there's no black. Unpowered people. white man. Yeah, yeah. No they, black. Actually, people they made the Unpowered. black woman. Unpowered. Whoa. What's wrong with Whoa. this nigga, man? Whoa. They made a black woman <laughs> double double oh seven. What are you talking about? Unpowered. And they the new one? A black yeah, the, woman double oh seven. The joint. I think that the whole movie is her. No, nigga. She's double oh seven. The whole movie isn't her. No. But what, she, happened, what happens nah. at the end? Because I don't watch 007, so... You, you want to know the whole shit? Yeah. I don't yeah, man. Tell him. 007 and James Bond, 007 is just like a, a, a code name. Like, that's There's like many he's designated. Okay. Right? But, like, 007 is legendary because, like, he made it a legendary, like, designation. When he retired, they gave the title to a black to woman black who man. was official as shit. She was the best agent besides, like, yeah. this guy who the retired. Unpowered. So you like the white man handouts? What do you mean the white man handouts? He handed the black woman something. Yeah. Meanwhile, over here, they got it on their own. They created it from scratch and it's fire. Which is why that's a it's better dope. movie to him. No, it's yeah. not. It's LaShawna Lynch is her name, by the way. Shout out to LaShawna written. Lynch. It was written better. It was nah, a nah. better script. It was. Yes, there are black movies that are better. If you look at one of my favorite movies. Did you watch Judas and the Black Messiah but, yet? Yeah, that was fire. Good I love that movie. Fire. Very good movie. That was that movie. Very good. You got it. My fault. That was I don't know if that was it. I think was that, that was this year. Was that was crazy. No, I think that was, that was last year. year. Let me let me. That I'll, was great. Y'all keep talking. I'm back there. And that movie and that was shit on really point. happened. All that but shit was this fire. shit too. When I heard that this happened in real life, all these people were real people. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. And the that's one thing I was saying about Harder They Fall That might be like, the top two movies. I feel like yeah, black films. That got it. And then I feel like they underutilized. And Lakeith is in both of them. Cherokee Bill. They yeah. underuse, they underutilized Lakeith Stanford, Yo, I feel like, I in the movie. Lie, nah, Lakeith was fine. He this. made the whole movie. Cherokee ah, Bill. Yeah, was Cherokee yeah. Bill was, a, well, Shorty. Of course. Shorty was my favorite person. Which one? Cuffy you know, or Treacherous you know, Trudy? Cuffy. Yeah. Cuffy. Yeah, 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 Cuffy. Cuffy was my favorite person in the movie. But Lakeith Stanford, was a, he was a goon. Cherokee Bill. Cherokee Bill was that dude. And then when she smoked him, she said, nah, my son was faster, man. Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's, yo, I like Cuffy, man. Why do they all have to count so slow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah someone's just tired it. of that. Yeah, he's the man. Why do they If they made have to... the movie longer, I'd fuck with it more. My nigga, that shit was two hours and 19 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, don't want, I don't want to be no more. <laughs> yeah, nah, but there may be a part two. Nah, yeah, if, you look at, it, be if you look at the too. Irishman, yeah. if you look at the Irishman, that show was four hours long. Like, ah, I feel like yeah. if they gave him yeah. time. Ah. It was all white cast. If I didn't you, watch that if movie. You gave him time. Fuck, right? No, it's, it's not. Work. I'm just saying all right, right. it was such a big all-star all right. cast, the they didn't give you time to develop us, a lot of the characters. Give us your top five movies with a mostly black cast. A black star or a mostly black cast? Mostly black cast. That's, that's that's like, no, mostly black cast and black stars is different because, like, I love the movie... What the Lord made with most death, that wasn't a black cast, but it was a fire story. I've seen it. Okay, Red, salute to Red. Right? Putting niggas so, on. Most death basically played the guy. Somebody um, that got the black killed surgeon. dramatically. No, but no. Most of the, the cast first, is not oh, black. Yes. He, was a, he was a basically the Vivian black Thomas surgeon the that did the first heart, open heart, heart surgery. Yeah. And then the white doctor yes. who took credit for it, basically. I've seen that. Oh, fire, Red. Yeah, it's yeah. very salute, good. Salute, Red. Yeah. Something, so, something I, the Lord I, made. That was a fire movie, right? What the unfortunately, like whenever like movies are made with like a all black cast, nine times out of ten, it's like something that I feel like is like something that's super. What's the what's the word? Uh, Damn, like man. stereotypical. If I I don't like Tyler Perry movies, for example, like the shit be like, Niggerish. like soft shoe or like yeah, it's like I'm not a big Niggerish. fan of that shit. Like, sh- I never saw the movie with Shamar Moore when cool he had the cinema. fake. When he had like the fake braids, but that shit was traumatic. Like I don't want to see that movie. I don't want to see the film. What was the point in the nigga wearing a, a braid wig? Why did that happen? What was the I, point? I of don't that? know what movie you're talking about. I'm anyway, about New Orleans. They was in New Orleans. What about, Why was when, that? They, what about when they gave Fifty that um, S curl blowout? Yeah, what was that for? <laughs> and the same glasses. What was that the same Fifty was in the Tyler oh, Perry movie. Nah, nah. Hey, oh, he was pimping hey. curly. What the fuck was that shit called? I think. Um, I think um, Pacino, um, De Niro's in it too. Yeah. Shit with Robert De Niro. You don't oh, remember? I didn't watch that. He had these same stupid ass shades from Amazon and he had a, um, a, like <laughs> yeah, an S curl blowout. De Niro yeah. was like a cop, I think, in that yeah, one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at, and I like look black. That shit up. What's that called? Black cast in television because they give you time to develop characters and stories. So if you look at 
uh, Lovecraft yeah. Country or you look at um, what they did with Watchmen, I, I think both of those okay. things was fucking fire. And they gave you time to like really like develop so you, the characters. So you just don't really like black movies. Nah, Period. it wasn't it. You like your I, black, I with black movies. You like your black cast and doses Wait, 30, 30 minutes movies, at a time. The idea that the idea that like any movie is like automatically a black movie because like it has all black cast. I don't think that's that's cool. I have to like it because it has a black cast. No, no, I'm not like, saying it's that. Like, I didn't ask that. That's not. That's not. That wasn't my question. Like at this point, like that the, Den of Thieves was hard. The that was a good movie. That was the hard. Fucking, I didn't watch that. That was a good movie. The fucking Medea movies is just an excuse for this nigga to just put a dress on at this point. I mean, there's yeah, a lot of other black film outside of Tyler Perry. I agree with that as well. I agree with that. But there's wh- there's a lot of black film outside so of Tyler Perry. Though. Yeah. yeah, really is. So like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how you. If you look up. at certain like storytelling, um, like when you look at shit like uh, Friday. That was that was a fire story. I think it so got more comical. The first thing I said, my nigga. It got comical after a while, which is cool. But like, I really like the spirit of the original Friday. Versus it might have been that gun shit. Yeah, is gun? Is it gun? It might have been. I think he got some some dumbass haircut right there too. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. We gonna have to come back to that because I gotta find. I don't that. know what I'm talking about. It's a picture of Fifty with a blowout, like a um. I, see, I don't know. Fifty and De Niro. Yeah, nah. Is 50 and Robert De Niro in it? I'm going to find that shit. I'm going to find that shit. We're going to come back to it. Oh, no. Nah, that's crazy. All right. That's crazy. Well, since Reg doesn't have, can't name five black movies he enjoys. What was that name of the movie <laughs> where um, the nigga that played Antoine Fisher played a soldier? Was that Red Tails or uh, what's that called again? I also liked, uh, what's that called again? That Nat Turner movie. Um, uh, Birth of a Nation was fired. Birth of a Nation. That was Black Nate people, Parker. Black people. Yeah. Nate Parker starting. That. Nah, he he revolted. That was a revolt movie. That was like <laughs> the same. It would be like in the same lane. Did you as, fuck with like, Moonlight? You gonna say Django? Moonlight wasn't a horrible movie, huh? Hold on. Moonlight was alright. Hold on. Ain't that? Yeah. yeah. Basically. Uh-huh. What were you saying? I thought you were gonna say Django. <laughs> Wait, man. That was a black star, but that wasn't a black yeah, star. That's, that's yeah, that's what you saying our birth of nature was in the same vein as, and you didn't finish, so I thought you could say No, that. I was going to say Django, but like, it was... <laughs> exactly. Wait, what, what I was saying, yep. the thing is, violated them niggas in Django that's was like how you wished the Nate Parker movie ended. That shit was so, difficult to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, fuck what can. Birth of Nation was rough, I bet it was a true story. That's Django how it went. I like Kill Bill, but fuck Tarantino. He goes out his way to use nigga in every movie. Mad. And if you notice, the word nigga was not used not one time in The Heart of They Fall. Yep. Yeah. And that was very intentional. Hold yeah. on. He was going to say it. Nigga said nigga. Nah. He said, mm, and Trudy shot him. Nah, I ain't Bro. talking about that. I'm talking about the black people in the beginning. Nah. I think they did say nigga I in the beginning. I think they said it, my nah. nigga. When they I were think, arguing by the rock, I think they the nigga it? said nigga, nah. B. I'm going to believe, I believe so. Because, like, I, yeah, I, I, like he, he did, he did you research know. or some shit. Not one time. You got a gray beard, my nigga. It's hard. You know what I mean? You did a lot of research. Look. <laughs> when your beard turned gray. You feel me? So I believe you, my nigga. <laughs> you might be right. Nah. I mean, I, I actually went to a screening of it. And um, there was a panel discussion before the movie with the lead costume designer. And there was a lot of things that she spoke about in regards to the movie. But one thing that she spoke about, the theme on the side of the movie was we exist mm. and so i just think everybody should do a little bit of research and understand that black folks existed outside of just slavery after slavery ended and you had the expansion into the west we were other shit yeah there were a lot of black people taking up land taking up space redwood city was a real city and, and that's so, why black history is important and that's, that's why, why black history rid of, is rid of black history month i agree a thousand percent you know i think yeah it should be because we exist we should highlight other stuff besides slavery and yeah. stuff like that and right. we need to be we need to learn about other things important. which is the point i was making as far as black films i feel like if you give like like creatives of color or black like directors a budget and they put something together like black panther it doesn't have to be something that is like slavery or struggle or whatever like coonery based shit you yeah, know like what I mean and, and shout out to Jay-Z yeah, which is for a, funding this movie, movie for making for producing and making it happen yeah. and we do need more people us in there though we could have been on there for, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sure. Sorry. Yeah, for sure shout out to Hove man yeah. but great <laughs> right movie <with> finger pistol <laughs> yeah that definitely should have been you should have been <laughs> Bill my nigga Worry, I should have been all them niggas can Not we move Bill. on to the next thing <laughs> Jesus should have been Bill what? nah he was the father at the beginning he was the father at the beginning he was, he Yo, was shout out to Delroy Lindo too. He did his thing yeah. as the sheriff. Yeah. Delroy yeah. kills every role though. 
He yeah, does. he does. Yeah, he do. He, he doesn't be, get enough he credit. He be a lot of the same niggas though, sometimes, though. <laughs> sometimes yeah. I don't see him do. with that mustache on every I mean, role, but Denzel though. is, yeah, too. And Denzel gets love. Like, the nigga doesn't get recognized enough for, like, you know, the roles he plays in different movies. Nah, that's true. Niggas don't talk about Del Rey Lindo. Yeah. Great actor. Everybody did their thing in that movie, man. Uh, Baif. Who was the worst actor, though, if you have to pick? In the film? My man Pinkin. P- Pink- Pinkston, a Pinkett. He was shooting with the long, the rifle. He walked in and said, y'all having the sex? Yeah. That was, the, he, he was hilarious, but. Nah, I liked him. I, I liked him, him. But he wasn't, he was getting out Sean. Yeah. Nah. Y'all having the sex? Well, if I The have sex to, is crazy. Yeah, that was funny as hell. If I have to choose the worst actor, I'm going to go with the white uh, sergeant on the train or whatever he was. The guy who was in charge of the train. Yeah, he, he was kid. white. He was trash. <laughs> he was a little white. I think everybody did a good job acting. That was ill when he, when he was like, all right. <laughs> uh, Always a hero. Chesapeake Bill? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cut him up with the blade? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cherokee. Yeah. Nigga put his shits up. <laughs> 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 I fuck with him. He made the movie. Yeah, yeah Cherokee he was did the best his one. thing. Lakeith Stanfield really did his thing. Nah, but he's that nigga, though. He be, he be and, ill in every joint. And you like, can, like, can make an argument. Out. Hmm? Go ahead. Out of the new generation of American black actors, he's at the top. No, he, he, didn't even, he didn't even do any type of formal acting classes. Like, he just no, Googled how to be an actor. I, I would say like, Jonathan fucking, Majors is doing I'm pretty good, too. He's up there. Yeah. He was the guy who's Nat Love in the movie. Yeah, Jonathan Majors? Yeah, he's yeah, Nat he's Love. He's in Lovecraft three, Country, Jonathan and he's two. in the oh, new Marvel movie. shit, with the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nat Love. Yeah, all right. I like Lakeith Stanfield, though. My and Lakeith guy. has done a lot now at this point. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I was about to say, Alpha Every made the Alpha made the point that he's been in the top two films this year, which is yeah. Judas. Yeah. He was Judas, and he was Cherokee Bill. And then That's both he kind of played like a, a villainous yeah, character. Bro. So shout out to Lakeith, man. He's really doing his thing. Yeah. I haven't found him yeah. bad in one thing he's done yet. Even in Get Out, he, his, his role was his it was short. minuscule. Yeah. Yeah. I like he him as a character actor. Major role. Atlanta's coming back, and he killed that, too. So, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. It was real good. That was an underrated movie. Yeah, that was a real good movie. Know about that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that was a good <laughs> man. Crazy ending. Nah, that was a man. great movie. I right. fuck with him, man. Um, Baif, voicemails, please. He was on the internet threatening to shoot something, too. I forget. Yeah. He was beefing. What you saw podcast was popping my name, Bobby Holiday. I'm just here to give a shout out to my man, Pop Vasquez. You are missed on the gram. It ain't the same. You know what I mean? I got a mad love for you, bro. Anything you need from me, please contact me, my nigga. Shit ain't the same without you. What Instagram you is full of shit. We love you, my nigga. Pop Vasquez, life. Love, man. Salute, Bobby. Love. Salute to Bobby, man. Yeah. Some yeah. type funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you need, contact me. I uh, sent all bail money for Pop to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I give you my Zell. <laughs> Niggas deleted me so they can make room for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk so Hope can run. That's all. Like that's dope. That. I take that. Whatever. <laughs> Hope deleted his account already, though. That's crazy. Bad funny. You should call him like, yo, can I get my joint back? Now he ain't even using them. Word. Who do you call, though? Mosseri? I was tagging that nigga. Nah, we don't call gotta keep, We got to keep going at him. We got to call huh? Zuckerberg. Zuck? Yeah. Zuck is crazy. No. He in the metaverse, man. <laughs> that's the thing. You, you got to be the first. That's man. what his name is, Zuck. Mosseri. Zuckerberg. Yo, that's what his, his tag is? At Zuck. That's nigga. disgusting. Oh. <laughs> not with a Z though, pause. It's not as freaky. Nah, that's disgusting. Nah, <laughs> it ain't as crazy, my nigga. <laughs> I think I seen. Good, y'all. Hope y'all doing great, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm on the road, driving right now. Kind of thought, man. Right. Uh, I got a coworker, man. <laughs> Dead ass though, my nigga. I'm like, yo, that's night night. <laughs> the Leah talks. Hmm? It was good, y'all. Hope y'all doing great, man. I'm just on the road, driving right now. Kind of thought, man. Uh, I got a coworker, man. We always talk about top five, you know, top five rappers or whatever. He's a little older than me, uh, so you know, when it comes to top five, man, I think we need to start putting things in categories because you know, a kid, a kid's top five might be Juice World or something. You know what I'm saying? A kid's top five might be Barbie, uh, Young Boy or Juice World or whatever like that. Might be Young Doug, but you know, somebody else's top five who grew up in the '80s or whatever. You know, there might be. Uh, LL Cool J or some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so when we come to top five talking, this is just, you know, I'm just thinking in general, man. I think we need to start categor- categorizing stuff, man. And that's my that's my opinion, bro. Go talk on it. Just don't laugh after you say L name ever again, man. Yeah, what the fuck was wrong with that, man? Word. Salute. Word. Thanks for the call. Queens get the money. So, salute to Uncle L, my nigga. That's my man. Yeah. But son is correct. I, I yeah. think that applies to everything. Yeah. It's all relative. What you like or what you 
I was arguing with them niggas in the barbershop about Eminem, mm. and it's just not shit that I can relate to, which is why I don't listen to Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Is he good? Cool, he's good. Yeah. But it doesn't sound well to me. It just doesn't sound good. Phonetically, you like um, Lose Yourself is amazing, the first verse, right? Very difficult to put that together the way he did, right? Mm. But lyrical, spiritual, in your living room, like, I'm good, my nigga. You yeah. feel me? And I just don't really, you know what I mean? Can't relate. Mm. Can't. I can't relate. Relative, dog, mm. that's all. I'm not really a fan. The, the one relative. point I would make about that and the whole timely shit is, if you're just like, if you're talking about, oh, this new generation's best person might be this person, but you're completely ignoring who may have inspired that person, who they borrowed heavily from, or whatever, like that has to also be part of the conversation. Like it a lot of Eminem is Redman. Yeah, but it doesn't if it's your top five. I'm glad right. you said that, though, oh, yeah. man. Because I think we should throw Jersey in that, that debate, too. Definitely. Jersey, well, rappers Eminem from will Jersey. Give Redman we credit should be though. up there somewhere. My favorite rappers from Jersey. Yeah. What are you talking about? Red. Yeah. Eminem Ransom. gives him okay. credit all the time, though. He does. He does. That's Jersey got a rapper, right, Eminem? No, it's not Eminem, but I'm just saying at least Tech Eminem, nine. a lot of people will act like. <laughs> Jersey right. got a lot of rappers, though, man. <laughs> nah, hold on, hold on. So, so it, name them. I'm just Insane saying. Clown Posse. Red. Tretch from Jersey. Wait, wait, wait. You know you're in trouble in a second. <laughs> name is... What you talking about, man? <laughs> Who? Tretch be rapping? Tretch is Come not... on, bro. I ain't got to disrespect right. you. I'm never disrespecting. Never. <coughs> yeah, that's, I'm talking yeah. about right now. Nigga, we talking about right now. No, no, no. He's like tours, but no. Nah, you not. brought up Big Pun. Big Pun ain't been around for a while. What Big you talking Pun about? Not, we can't count that. Like you said, it's not fair. He only had two joints. That's right. why Queens is better. You have Queen Latifah. There's an artist that come out Queen Jersey, Latifah. but yo, but, but, but mention Tretch in top five is kind of crazy for lyricists. That's what I was. Not just Tretch not even rap, man. Just, what? Yeah, Tretch can rap. Joe Buttons. You can Button say that. is in there yeah. too. You can say Ransom. Joe also Buttons. from Queens. Ran. Hello. Who? He born in Queens. He was born in Queens. But Joe Buttons can rap. Rap. He can rap better than niggas. Who better than uh, uh, Lauryn Hill, though? Lauryn Hill got the favorite, my favorite album, nigga. That's my right. dog. I fuck with Lauryn Hill. I mean, but rapping, my nigga, that's dope. It's, 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 I get it. I the Fugees in general. I understand what you're saying. That's say. Jersey. I the Fugees in general. Yeah. Like, oh, they from, they from Jersey? I ain't yeah. From Duck. Yeah. I grew up across the street from Wycliffe Mother. Oh, where? That's yeah. Tough. I remember he used to pull up in a lime green drop top Benz. Mm. I was yeah. in like... 10, 11 years old. You used to go over there for Soup Jumo on New Year's? Nah, nah. <laughs> That's that why you like though. the nigga Proz well. That's why. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he does look like Proz. That's wild. Just like I never Proz noticed well. that. I look like everybody brown skin. You like a couple niggas. <laughs> yeah, I do look like a like you can't just You can't just describe yourself as brown. That's wild, nigga. <laughs> what, 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 what color am I? Black, motherfucker. Brown is crazy. Nah, that's what some, was it? That's I'm a some, black person. That's some boisterous shit, my no, nigga. No, no, no. Because he's light skinned, but he's black. Yeah, but I can call him brown. Somebody said caramel for somebody the other day. We nah, just like, that's not, out of pocket. I'm never Wait, calling you caramel. caramel. Not me. They, nobody's ever called me caramel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm Niggas run up on that now like you honey. That nigga waffle. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> khaki. I'm like, bro. <laughs> what? Khaki? Nah, at least it's not a food group. I'm down with the khaki. Yeah, I'd rather be khaki. It's a fucking Docker suit. You know what I mean? Khaki is, and you know what I mean? I can take khaki or cardboard. You feel me? <laughs> as long as they not de describe you as food. Oh, Caramel's crazy. Whoever who said that? Somebody described themselves as caramel. You say themselves? Almond? Yeah, yeah. They was like, I'm caramel oh, or something like that. He just yeah. called you almond. Almondy. <laughs> Nigga said you was almondy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said like a food group. I yeah. Said, oh, like almondy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nasty. Mm. Uh oh. oh wow. But you were just he describing that. Oh, <laughs> he's on the color. He didn't put the Y on it though, so he's valid. I'd rather be acting caramel. Yeah. Right. Yeah, caramel's that. Nah, nah, nah. It was wrong of them to call you that though. No, no, no. <laughs> it was very different. It was, it was disrespectful, <laughs> my nigga. They tried to make it, that was a, that was a hit. They put a hit out on it. You say that to me. He was describing, actually, I think it was when you had your gram. Somebody said that about themselves in the comments. Yeah. Like, nah, not grand? even. Yeah, I'm Never. caramel. Never on my gram. In your comments, they nah, said nah, that. Nah. Right. Never. They wouldn't disrespect. That's why they deleted my <laughs> That's exactly why they deleted it. <laughs> That's why they deleted it. <laughs> they don't know how to act in these comments. Get them out of here. Somebody the whole deleted my whole gram because son described himself as almondy. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Play one more for us, buddy. That's wild. Yo, what up, pot? What up? What you thought, ah? Uh -huh. Good boy, the L Boogie man from PG County, Maryland, man. Call in again, man. Y'all, I played my voice. My voice went last time. This nigga thought never gave my whole fucking number out, but it's all good. It's all love, though. Uh, man, I, 
I was listening. I'm going to say shout out to Pop, man. I've been listening to fucking Ransom the last three weeks. I appreciate you, my boy. That dude is a fucking dog. But in that same ilk, I was wondering, who do you, who do y'all feel like has the best bar you've ever heard in a rap song? Oh, so you, I, I, I'll take the top three, question. you know what I'm saying? But I, I just had to know, because I, I feel like y'all are big hip-hop heads in the, in the pause. Hip-hop yeah, fans son, in the moment. Tough. I'm pretty sure y'all know some, some dope I'm bars, man. Listen to that Thank earlier. you. Well, taking my voice last time, man. Love the pod, man. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers keep this shit going, man. Appreciate you. Sorry about Salute. that phone number. I hope nobody called you. Yeah, word. Salute That's to the heart. You might be Apologies lit. for that. Like, best verse is like a really almost impossible Nah, nah, nah. He didn't ask the best verse. Best, best bar. bar. Just one best line? Best bar. No, bar, yeah. Best verse. He said best bar, but he was saying the best verse and he didn't even take the top three. Mm. The top, top three. Damn. I gotta sit with that for a little bit, Paul. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. We gotta next week. Yeah. We can come back. Yeah. Difficult, man. Yeah, next week we'll come back with that and our top fives. A bar? No, All right. I don't think I could do that, my nigga. So many. I like lines, nigga. I like rap. Yeah. Me too. Well, he said, he said, Damn, son, best verse and best bar. I can't even pick a best bar from one rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like best bar. I can p tell you Big Sean's best bars when he was wilding on that, uh, on that lemonade or whatever shit. Damn. He said, First whip, Largo. Second whip. So don't yeah. worry about my niggas. They're good. Marshall. Bank account. Got me feeling wells. Fargo. Fargo. Balling. Until I get a miller check. Darko. I just give him line after line after Fargo. line. Fargo. He was wild. I said, what the fuck That's is going on? If we're going to go punchlines, then I got to pull up some Lloyd Banks. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Crazy man. punchlines. You can't be saying to be testing me. You ain't nothing but a name on my recipe. I'm four bars hotter than your asses. I don't want to hear your tape unless it's me. I'm like guns. I smoke excessively. See me, you need a little more effort, B. <laughs> that nigga was fucking. Yo, Banks is my favorite nigga, man. Banks, go. I'm going to keep it 100. Jada Kiss is, is Ran, Kiss, Pun, Big, Ran. I mean, and, and Banks, my nigga. That's a Fab tough come move. after. I'm telling you, I was son, just about to say Fab. Fab come after. Pause. It's, 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 he's after. He's just what it is. That's a Fab tough, is that nigga, man, list. but if I, if I could put Ran, he's, I need a six. If mm. I can't put Ran, then Fab is in the top five. But Fab shit is, 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 is cool and it's nonchalant or whatever, but like I like them gritty back to back lines like that. Banks was the king of that. Cassidy started doing it after a while. But Lil Wayne, you, I feel like you're missing Lil, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, nah, Lil Wayne's just wasn't like that. And Lil uh, Wayne's great, but it's not the same. It's not the same, my nigga. It's not that you crazy. It's not Real the same. G's moving signs like lasagna. Yeah, I'm good. Mm. I'm good. Hey, I'm going to have to think about that. I'm, that's not top 200, my nigga. Uh -huh. <laughs> I fuck with Wayne. I really like Wayne. G's moving silence like lasagna yeah. is hard, son. Stop. It was it was kind Stop. of like for me. It like was witty. Downhill. It was very Stop. witty. Yeah. Stop. After Stop. quarter two, I prefer Stop. a mixtape Wayne than he has. He has one of the worst balls that we speak about all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that disqualifies him yeah. from all competition. Yeah. Nah, nah, I don't. Cause he's still he's still great, and everybody got some freaky. Every one of them niggas got a That's freaky line. That's all true. of them. But it's every wild. one of them. It's true, but it's, it's wild because. Like yeah. truck fit, the only men like cannabis. I didn't even know the only main men for truck. That, that truck yeah. fit was only for men until you said something. I was like, that's crazy. Cannabis can rap, but he was he was bugging. Yeah, he said. You know I mean? Well, we already went over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already went over. Kiss got some wild shit, some wild, inexplicable shit, my nigga. <laughs> but he's still Jada Kiss. Yeah. I give that. You know what I mean? Um, blank word that they cancel you for. A yeah. French kiss is wow. Like there's just no reason for it. I don't know how bad you can hate a nigga to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it don't make sense. Yeah, it's out of pocket. How much can you hate him? <laughs> it's out of pocket. For he can't that. be that mad at you, my nigga, no matter what you do. Yeah. And he's, and he's a black word, my nigga. That's crazy. Why you call him a black word? <laughs> Speaking uh, of uh, wild boys. Black words? Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Oh. <laughs> uh, the bar that scared me the most when I was a kid. Mm. We always talk about it. Oh, yeah, my son Gutter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said he wanted to pull up to the park. Tell him come through. You sit over here, right? <laughs> why? He said he don't want to sit next to Uncle Gutter. Oh, why? Nah, <laughs> joke. As long as he clarified it that he, he don't really do that. We I'm good. almost 60 years old, my nigga. Um, but his, the bar about fuck kids and ass them over the bridge. Oh, right? oh yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. You, that was my, that's the most terrifying bar I ever heard. What's the most scared y'all ever been in like actual real life? Mm -hmm. 
That's difficult. No, I was in a really bad car accident, but I don't think I had time to be scared. But it was the only thing that ever happened that I was just like, oh, shit. You know, it's funny. This is your topic that you had put out. So I Word. thought you had something for this. No. I, a car accident, nigga. I, I, don't, I don't even remember I had that topic. You just be erasing them shits and moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was in a really bad car accident on the 280. Like, this was like years ago. It's what made me go out and get like life insurance. But everything happened so fast. I don't think I had time to be scared. I think there was like a second where I was like, oh, shit, I think I'm going to die. But that was it. Car accident is not fun, man. Nah, not at all. I actually hydroplaned and the car was spinning on the 280 and I saw traffic oncoming. So I was just like, oh, these, the cars are going to hit me. I'm going to die. Like, he, thought you, he thought he was the black Vin Diesel. He went out the window. <laughs> nah, none of that happened. Like, I sat there and waited for them to, the impact. Like, pause. Oh, shit. Pause. I pause. Don't ever wait for the impact. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Don't do that. There's no, there was no other word you could use there. You got to try to freeze yeah. it. And it was funny. <laughs> because after, after the accident, like, it looked like the car was crumpled up like a piece of paper. <laughs> What's that? Is that like falsetto? Or what voice is that? Yo, he's, he's killing it. So... A fucking dream over here. So yeah. if you get the if you get the little joint, you could cut yourself out the seatbelt. <laughs> there was no time. Like I was I was driving and I remember uh, like, like this lady that? braked and then I turned and then the car started to hydroplane. There was still oncoming traffic coming, so I just was watching the traffic come. I hit the uh, this was right before exit 14 on 280. I hit the the divider, then I hit the wall and the car spun a little bit before it stopped and I guess traffic saw so everyone like slowed down but it was the car was just in there it looked like someone crumpled it up mm. and when I got out the car I remember the um when the ambulance came and the troopers came they were like who was in the accident and I was like it was me and he was like how did you survive that and I was like I don't know man. so I hate to bring us down to piggyback off of that but um I did want to send prayers up to Tina Tintor she was the victim in a car accident. There was a, a wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders oh, yeah. a few days ago. Henry Ruggs yeah. III. He was in a bad car accident. Um, apparently, he was under the influence of something. He was driving approximately 156 miles per hour when he hit this young lady's car, and she died. Wow. Um, he survived. His girlfriend also suffered some damage, some injuries, um, but they both survived. And so uh, oh, prayers God. up to her family. Condolences to Tina Tintor. Yeah. But... Um, He's Sorry. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but obviously he's out of the NFL now. He was released from the Las Vegas Raiders, and he's facing up to 40 years, I believe, with the manslaughter more. charge, possibly more, because he also was under the influence. And so Henry Ruggs the third. It was a terrible car accident. Please be responsible. Don't drink and drive. 156 miles per hour. He's driving his brand new Corvette, 2021 Corvette. So, um, when were you the most scared? What was I the most scared? In that parking lot one night night. You wasn't yeah, was, scared. Yeah, I was chilling. <laughs> right. I was chilling. Um, he was a handsome young brother. So you- uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Back that thing up. Um, oh, shit. Sheesh. Nah, one of my most, the scariest moments was being on a plane with bad turbulence. Mm. That's a rough place yeah, to be in. My nigga, that shit don't feel Scary. good, man. Yeah, that was terrifying. Like when that. I was young, I was going coming you can't from tell a me Disney shit. World. B was terrified on the plane, bro. Well, we were fu- nah. The commercial? The started- he boofed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> he scared, nah. sweating and shit. <laughs> nigga, bro, he was high as shit. The turbulence was crazy. We were on the flight. Bro. Nigga, boofed we're wild animals. <laughs> we're on the flight it's going to, to get Houston. His <laughs> we're on the flight going to Houston. It's legal. You ain't even got to do that. Nah, nah, nah. It's cool. It was. He took the weed. It was just the weed. Ha, what's up, officer? <laughs> she was still smoking. That's how they got caught. That's how y'all niggas got caught. It's still lit. The blunt was lit. Yo. Yo. The butt blunt is crazy. So, y'all niggas is wild, man. So the plane starts shaking. It's not even regular turbulence. Like, you see the wing, like, shaking, and the, the plane is just moving. It wasn't regular turbulence, my nigga. It wasn't regular turbulence. It wasn't regular turbulence. And B is like, I guess B was scared. I don't know what was going on. But in my mind, I'm like, I'm on a plane. What the fuck am I going to do? So yeah, I just sit there. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. B's looking like, I'm trying to see what I can see. I'm like, nigga, we're in the air. What can you look at? 
What are we going to do? We're not going to get out and push the fucking plane? But I still want to see, though. See what? It's how, clouds. How is the pilot hitting potholes in the sky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's crazy. It that's was, it was, it was, it was and, funny. But B was like, B was like, oh, I'm going to see if there's clouds or no clouds. I'm like, nigga, what <laughs> difference does that make? What <laughs> difference does that funny. make at all? It sounds funny and all that, but I'm still looking, nigga. Fuck yeah. out of here, nigga. I'm looking. Yeah. Feel, Natural. Yeah, the, 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 what the fuck is going on? Yeah, ain't yeah, no you way just, to escape. Because we all got to make no sense. <laughs> now, that don't make no sense. Yeah. Now, you're just saying shit. You was high. Yeah. The week. All you got to <laughs> do, all you can you do is sit there. All you can do is sit there. You're done. All you can do is sit there. The plane I was on... Uh, they, they, the <laughs> store that's announced literally over the uh, loudspeaker, like, listen, we will tell you when if we have to, but you may have to put your like put your head down, kind of brace. Yeah. And I'm Bro. like, what are we bracing for? Word. Impact, but, nigga. Poor. But that's the what they say. You might have to take yeah, off that's your crazy. What are you bracing for? <laughs> <laughs> still on the, <laughs> the wheels were still <laughs> down <laughs> on that. <laughs> Niggas was braced for impact. <laughs> the, the, the pilot was just ground. running around trying to see what's popping. <laughs> <laughs> that was so playing. That's crazy. Niggas was trying to take souls on the plane. That's no, bad. niggas is on spirit. <laughs> what? That's a wicked plane ride. Yeah, but that was the scariest, Darnell. It was, it was real bad Why turbulence. did they tell y'all niggas that to brace? That was scary. Yeah. Real bad turbulence was terrifying. What about you, That Pop? is scary. I was, um, I was startled. I wasn't scared. You feel me? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I was startled. I was in the, I was in the can. I, I overheard these two Spanish niggas arguing. The young kid was coming through, man. He was just, it was his first time, I assume, you know what I'm saying? He was coming through and um, these two Spanish niggas was arguing and he used the word bucci. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what you mean, my nigga? So once I found out the term was for the boy's stuff, pause, I said, my nigga, this ain't the place for me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't ready for shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready for shit. I wasn't ready for oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was the most startling shit I've ever been through in my life, to be honest. When I heard the term, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. Nigga said, Bucci, my nigga. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Boy, Gucci is crazy. Oh, <laughs> That's the shit. wickedest shit I've ever I, I was, I was, You know what I mean? It was startling. Wait. You feel me? Oh, I was shaking, not stirred. Boy. There, there was, was arguing over. And, uh, it was, and while, nah. it was, while it was still on, son. It was still there. They arguing about some shit that, like, that's crazy. Paul, this shit was wicked, my nigga. That was the uh, most startling shit that I've ever actually witnessed. Like, oh, shit. Because son didn't even know what he was, you know what I mean, walking into. That nigga was plotting on him before. Like, word. So my son, Jesus my son Cheeks Christ. was on the menu, and he didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Just was on the That's the secret menu. That's the you know, you gotta go for that. Right. Oh, they don't write that shit. You gotta know a nigga. Hell <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck out of here. How you? <laughs> Yo. Watch out. Police officer, get too close, my nigga. I'm, I'm not close to you at all. My nigga, I can touch right. the phone. All right. Too close. All right. You see what I'm saying? All right. Go ahead. 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 WCW, the big boys play. Nitro? Raw. <laughs> I ain't never hit the raw. I'm gonna keep it 100. CBC. CBS. You know, you don't even know the CBC is. That's the Canadian football niggas. Them niggas was up there. CMC was in there. Cash money, Clay. Word. CMB. UGK. Rock and Bob, baby. <laughs> they said he was shit. That was crazy. VH1. MTV2. No, MTV Threats. <laughs> Them niggas, MTV Threads, what's over there for sure? ESPN Ocho is in there. Word, word. All them, you know the Music Choice channels, them shits. B That's a lot of niggas, B. You can't outdo that. BT Her was in there. BT what? BT Her. Oh, it's just female shits? Yeah. I never even heard of that, my nigga. You advanced. Word. Um, damn, son, you got me. You stumped me with the BT Her. I didn't even know that was a choice. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. They wild inclusive nowadays. That's fire. That's fire. Background niggas say to me. <laughs> it's serious. Some shit that you used to wear. The red shit is the Reebok. Yeah. <laughs> Them shits. RBX, nigga. 
You like the nigga that killed Uncle Charles. <laughs> Watch out, my nigga. Move over this way. Nigga, you in the shot, my nigga. You in the shot. Hi. Hi, my nigga. Like, ain't that the nigga? <laughs> Get him in the shot. Now you won't be in the shot so bad. Uncle Charles, y'all. I miss my Uncle Charles. I'm about to throw this shit up. <laughs> Damn, man, water came up. All right, ready? When it starts to fall. Watch yourself, crazy. Hold on, hold on. You can't stop the rain. You can't stop the rain. We gotta have a background. Somebody gotta do that part too. I don't know about you. Hold on. I'm doing both for so I got you. You can't stop the rain. You a professional, like a like a professional apparatus. TMZ. Look like we're waiting on the counter and all that. To get the shot. <laughs> What's up, with son? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What, ah, what you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? Ah. If you could change your thoughts, you could change the world. So much more to life than chasing diamonds, gold, and pearls. Lately, it's been debated that maybe you're in the greatest. I'm joking, there's no debate. You can't ignore the great. See, I'ma switch the world up with my 15 seconds of fame. Tell you a little story about way back when. Snotty, no shorty, rocking scuffed up tin. Still drop a triple double on your whole damn team. So much on my mind that it can't recline. The thought of cloud nine seems so sublime until you get the cloud nine and the sun don't shine. These niggas grass not greener than mine. The thief of joy is what comparison is. And I'm so much better. Don't compare me to them. No, no, don't compare me to them. I'm so much better than what you thought. What you tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? Ain't what you thought. Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Tell me what you thought. What you thinking? What you thought? What you thought? What you thought? Huh? What you thought? Crew will ever be caught slipping, you tripping. Lil' homie, we on the mission. To enlighten the masses, acquire some assets. A few accounts that I can stash some cash in. Without rhyme or reason, depending on the season. We just try and get it. This could result in creeping. Police investigation, we get from silent treatment. Forever granny's baby, get society's heathen. Views don't align, but you still pledge allegiance. Born to be your beacon, shining light on the legion. Yeah, I'm wide awake, still feel like I'm dreaming. I got no time for sleeping. Up, battling demons. Up battling demons.